gold binocular. Wait, that's not it. Uh, I saw it in chat already. Albino grind. We shall see how much of a grind this turns into. But yes, the grizzly side of this is indeed to try to get a gold albino. We're going to spend a good chunk of time here on Yukon Valley. I don't know exactly how long. This stream's in all likelihood going to be more than the typical two hours. And if you haven't been a part of the last, I don't know, three, four days, three days maybe, of like evening the angler streams, I have been having an absurd amount of fun on the Africa map. So that should be a good time. What's going on, pizza? Getting really sick of this? I'm getting really sick of you. What's up, Zach? How's it going, man? Happy birthday, Blue Hoot. Hello, hello. Okay, Flo. Danny said it first. Or not even. Danny, I said it first. I, I can read. Uh, ba, ba, ba. What's going on, Steve? I have not got to be part of the last few days. The, the Diamond Tiger Fish on stream far and away is like the highlight of the whole thing. But Africa in the Angler is such a vibe. I don't know what it is. Like, there's a good combination, I think, of just all the different types of fishing that makes it really enjoyable. Like, lure fishing is really effective. We caught that tiger fish on a popper, which is so cool. Like, my favorite way to fish is with topwater lures, at least in... The, I mean, fly fishing is usually topwater anyway, so even in real life, but especially in the angler. And then, tiger fish is like the coolest thing they've ever released, and we caught a diamond. Have you gotten an ultra rare? Um, assuming you're meaning the definition of ultra rare, meaning like a rare great one? No. That's typically what is being referred to there. What's up, bro? Is it still free on Epic? Uh, till the 20-something. I think so. Maybe till tomorrow. Steelers are going to the Super Bowl. We got Quez Watkins. Nobody can stop us now. <laughs> I do like that um, acquisition, though. Regarding the drinking playing angler yesterday, we know it as liquid courage. That may have been the actual word I wanted. Social lubrication is what we use, which is also the same idea. But liquid courage might have been the specific phrase. But anyway, yeah, I'll say that once again. The reason we're referring to such liquid courage. Kyla is going to be streaming the angler when that comes out tomorrow. Maybe not like literally at release, but at some point tomorrow, Kyla's going to stream the new map. I think Mel's going to be there. Hopefully I'll be able to be there. Depends on how recording and everything goes and, and all that kind of stuff, but I'm looking forward to that. Free till the 28th, 26th, one of the two. I knew it was an even number. Is there a trophy lodge in the angler? There is not, and that is one of the biggest kind of negatives or drawbacks to the game in my opinion. Like, I would like to go back and revisit my diamonds and stuff, and like, sure, I can screenshot them and all that kind of thing, but the thing about, like, I'll just even, this is sort of the incorrect phrase, but taxidermy fish, very often it's replicas. So why not just, like, it, it, they're really big on, like, catch and release and all that kind of stuff. That was a, a big thing they talked about before the game even came out, when it was initially revealed. Rushy was on there. I think he's the head designer or something like that. He talked about all that kind of stuff. You know, catch and release. Uh, was very kind of anti-bow fishing and that kind of stuff because of, like, you know, killing the fish and harming the fish. But do replicas. Like, literally do a replica shop. Name it that so everybody knows what it is. And we can have the best of both worlds, I think. I didn't really mention it because I wanted to say the gold binoculars thing. If you didn't watch the video yesterday, I'm sure you had no idea what I was talking about. But um, I want to start in the daylight here. We're going to run around the Tikon Forest a bit, try to kill some grizzlies that are actually in the daylight. We will make it the current grizzly drink time, or the old grizzly drink time. Try to kill some in that period, and that should get them into the daylight zones. Will you play the Hunter Primal with me? Can you even still play multiplayer in that? Do you think fly fishing will be added? I can't see how they wouldn't eventually add fly fishing. They've added, so what, the game's been out for a year and a half, I think. They've added a new type of fishing within the last, I, I don't know, six months with the bottom fishing. I would like to think they're going to do fly fishing. I just can't see how you don't add one of the most popular ways of catching fish. And the cool thing is about it, like it would be a little bit skill based. If you really wanted to, you could make it so that it's not just like simple. Every time you cast, it goes exactly where you want. Maybe you have to almost say like enter a mini game to cast. I don't mean literally enter a mini game, but I think you know what I mean. It could be cool. I'd like it. Might have to make it their drink time sooner rather than later. I know they're like all through here. What's going on, Mel? Thank you for the 31 months. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. 
Did you get her the alive last night? Yes, I uh, made it all the way to Pittsburgh. No problem whatsoever, no traffic. Um, I don't know what time I picked her up. Right about midnight. And we got back home at, I don't remember, 20 till 2? It wasn't bad. Like, I don't know that, it, I think I hit one red light. Because the other nice thing about that time of night, most of the lights, like the, their uh, timers or whatever are different. So it was literally like a straight shot. <laughs> the entire way. Gonna be a barely fun video. I grizzle at that notion. <laughs> I don't think that's a word. <laughs> uh, gotta play around a round of Tetris before you cast. There you go, perfect. <laughs> What's up, Bree? Just grin and bear it? Nice. What's up, Sea Kayak? There's a bear track, okay. It's a female, but we gotta kill that too. Did we? Yeah, I think so. They're a species that spawns in pairs, it seems. At least sometimes. And I would say it's going to be wise to kill both. Kind of like foxes. Are you ever going to go for a second great one of a species? Uh, I mean, you know, we'll see what happens. Maybe, but at least with the current species we have in game, there's nothing I really want to go after. I thought about trying to get a second whitetail to do the multi-mount with the two fighting, but... Can I, is it really an improvement? Two super rares and a great one versus two great ones fighting? I kind of like the two super rares and a great one mount, so... I don't know. We shall see. Can hardly bear it until the angler map comes out. At least it is now, like, what? Probably 16, 17 hours away, I'd imagine. Something like that. Recommendations for time in the largemouth. I caught mine on a... It was a relatively small um, popper, all things considered. I can't talk and shoot, apparently. But yeah, um, I think like a size 4 or something. You can, if you want, specifically target diamonds with like a really big hook size or lure size, whatever you want to call it. I don't typically play the game that way. I like to catch more fish, so I use a smaller lure. And yeah, I'm going to catch a bunch of bronzes and silvers and stuff along the way. But at least, like, I get so bored if I don't do it that way. Location-wise, I'd have to go and look. I don't remember where I caught it. Someone in here probably has the answer. Zach, thank you for the 19 months, by the way. The next great one should be a T-Rex. I'm still holding out hope that Classic does um, a harvestable T-Rex this time for their April Fool's event. Gotta be soon, right? I hate species. Should I have in Call of the Wild today? Okay, I know that's not what you actually meant. I think you're asking what species should you hunt in Call of the Wild today? Was that the question? If so... Well, by, I mean... About grizzlies and wolves. I think that's likely what we're gonna run into out here. Or, you know, one grizzly. If we make it to, what time is it? It's 3.08. If we get to 3.15 and haven't had another grizzly track at least, I'm just gonna make it their drink time because there's no point wasting time. I thought we'd find more than this. Come here for a fishing stream, not this. It'll be a little while till we cast a line out, but we can talk about your 200 in Classic. Hey, I have a question for you. Where did you kill that? Was it the tower right outside the lodge? Like the southern lodge on Red Feather? I'm pretty sure that's where it was. I like size 5 poppers for tar targeting largemouth, silver and up. You know what's funny? Like, the... That's what I caught that diamond tiger fish on on stream. Um, it was the size 5 popper. And I bought it as soon as the game came out. I didn't realize hook sizes were going to matter much in the game. I figured they sort of would, but... Obviously, to a degree, they correlate to what uh, metals you can catch. I literally bought it because it was the Fire Tiger color, which is something I use and have had success with bass in real life. That's the whole reason why I bought it. Northwest Corner Red Feather. Who killed a 200 from that tower? I know somebody that did. I thought it was maybe you. I'm just going to keep on searching for whoever did it then. Had to be efficient hunting these bears? I thought for a second that was one of the one of the spellings of all time, but I see what you did there. Yeah, I mean, go for it, Rack. Why not? What would you think about a Great One Cape Buffalo? I would be all for that idea. I think you could do a lot of neat things. Something I've always said, because one thing that comes up is like maybe a broken horn or something. And I sort of like that idea, but don't you want your Great One to have like the full complement of antlers or horns that it could have. I thought you could do like a lion skull, like this hooked through one of the hooks of the horns, as if the Cape Buffalo killed the lion and then it just got like stuck on the horn. That could be kind of neat. 
And then obviously you gotta do some kind of unique markings and stuff. What's up, Joe? Did I miss something good? We've literally killed one grizzly bear thus far. The whole idea today is we're gonna try to get, I'm sure we're not gonna get all of them, but a good number of our grizzly bears here on Yukon Valley into the new drink zones. If you didn't know, I think it's pretty public knowledge. Black bear got a new drink time with this most recent update. Grizzly bear and brown bear did too. It's the same drink time, it's in the daylight. And I want to be able to efficiently and effectively hunt grizzlies, so we're going to try to get them into that new zone. You do need to kill all the old ones to get ones that are going to use the new zone times. And that would be the point of the video, or the stream, or both. It's like a decent caribou. I can't not shoot that. Since there's a whole lack of grizzlies anyway. Got an albino diamond turkey. Nice, dude. I thought... I, I was recording a classic video earlier. Uh, spoiler, it was on Whiteheart Island. I thought I saw a mella turkey earlier when I was recording that video and I got so hyped. Rare turkeys are cool. Now that they're legitimately rare in Call of the Wild, much bigger fan. Let me update classic. You should. Best weapon pack to buy first. It's going to depend to some degree, you know, on every individual and what they hunt the most. I would say the, um, so like something you gotta consider. This high caliber weapon pack that's got the 300 AR and the uh, 10 gauge and what's the other one? Oh, the 4570. All those, I, maybe the 10 gauge is the ammo starts unlocked, but the 300 and the uh, 4570, you have to unlock that ammo down the road. I'm pretty sure the modern weapons pack that has the 308 AR, that ammo starts unlocked. Like, you don't have to earn it. So that would be a good direction to go. The high caliber packs mostly earned ammo. Like, that, that is something to keep in mind. Smoking barrels, that's a good one. 30-06 also is, like permanently unlocked ammo, I think. What's up, Rusty? My brother accidentally deleted two years worth of progress in Call of the Wild? That's not cool. That's definitely a brother thing to do, for sure. It wasn't my brother that did this, it was my sister, but I had... This is like Madden 07, I think. I had a career mode tight end that had like all of the uh, NFL records for like receiving yards and catches and touchdowns and all that. And at some point, my sister threw the Madden 07 disc across the room like a frisbee and broke it. Never got to retire and get to the Hall of Fame in that. I've never completed a career in any Madden since then. I would have been that one, though. Female Grizzly. Not what I want. What's going on, Wolverine? What's the best strategy you have for Red Deer Grind? I didn't do very good with Red Deer Grinding. See, so I did it on Quattro Kalinas. Um... At the time, drink zones weren't all, like, synced up across all maps. So when I did my Red Deer grind, Red Deer drank at night on Tearoa. They drank, I think, early morning on Quattro. I think they still drank early morning on Hirschfelden, too. But basically, all I'm getting at is Tearoa is a way better map now to grind Red Deer on because they drink in the daylight. And I've never grinded them there, so I really don't have a, a lot of insight there. To bring the Mosin back for a challenge. All I know is I want to do more challenges like what we did for yesterday's video. 314. All right, well, we're hunting tonight, guys. I tried. What's the old... So I guess like 2100 will make it. What's up, JTAC? Would they yeet her across the room? I might have gotten in trouble for that. Hey, Maximus. Rip that message. It happens. That's the map that I got. Got something on a sale row. There's just the thing about Tay is the reason the fallow grind's pretty easy too. Not that the red deer grind's easy on that map, but easier. There's just limited places compared to most maps and most species. You really don't have to grind a lot of the maps, so you can be really, really efficient. Asked if your Xbox controller worked? 
Yes? Did Grizzlies get a pop reset or are they the same as Black Bear? They are the same as Black Bear, which is why we're doing this right now. We're going to go and try to kill a bunch of these at night. They're still going to be in their old zones until we kill them. Maybe somebody can help me out here. Did Grizzlies drink at the Wolfhead Lake? I'm sure they're going to be over in here, but we won't run around the entire thing if it's not even something they do. Do I have a tent? I do. So I had set up half of a moose grind here, then I realized I didn't want to do it, but that makes it a little bit nicer for this. I shall use it for the angler. Go for it. Are you talking about on, like, on stream tomorrow, or are you about to try to play on Xbox? Are you going to bring back Throwback Thursday? I, I've thought of different ways that I might be able to do it. The challenge with, like, the old format is if I do it in a Let's Play sense, it gets to the point that it's like 10, 12, 15 video series, and people kind of get bored of the game by then. So I want to consolidate the the videos into like, a, or the series, I guess, into a lesser number of videos. So we'll, we'll just kind of see what I can come up with. I've thought of doing like one long video of like the entire playthrough, not like a three hour video, like a highly edited thing. But I don't know, like that leaves so much stuff out. Four lakes down under. So we are going to go there, but I'm going to go later in the drink time. That's the spot that I think we're going to primarily focus on. But I know there's a good number up here too. The top two lakes are good and the top of the river. That's right, there are grizzly up here now, huh? Maybe I shouldn't waste too much time in this area. I'm still going to check these couple of lakes. But I, I forgot about the top ones. Is that where I was? So I was on Yukon to shoot the caribou for the revolver challenge. And I found like three max weight grizzly tracks on this one guy's map. I don't think I spotted any of them, but I made sure none of them were albino because that's my main thing that I want. Um... I think one was in the far north, and then the other two were down south. Who even is Zach? He's Zach. He's right there. There are some of the four lakes at the bottom middle of the map. Yeah, those are the ones that we were talking about that I think are going to be some of the best areas. The challenge is there's small lakes. Do I have a... I have a couple of tents. That was from... Probably when we were trying to get an albino in the past. Let me tell you a tale. What's the new grizzly time is the same as the new black bear time, 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. But, just like the black bears, you gotta kill the ones in the old zones first. I mean, they don't literally have to be in the zones, but you gotta kill your population of grizzlies to get them into the, the new times. So we're gonna try to focus on the high population areas, and I'm starting to think what I thought was a high population area is actually not. Please play Whale Hunter on Ticket Moon Plains. Please, been here since 10k subs. Well, I will get back to Ticket Moon Plains at some point. I'm hoping this weekend to be able to take that Melanistic Fallow out. We'll see. I probably got a pass. So what is he? He's seven. Or eight? No, he's still an adult. So he's seven now. They get the 12. Realistically, I probably need to pass two eight cycles before I record later this weekend. I almost want to stream doing that because I'd like to have the entire process of aging him sort of documented. So we'll see. Maybe I'll fire up away the Hunter's stream at some point during the week. Could be Friday's stream, but I'm imagining we may even end up doing the Angler. I was the guy who ran Didi's Discord server until he completely abandoned the community, and now I seek refuge here in Flinter's streams. Did you see Didi's stream yesterday? Did you happen to stop in? Strange seeing bears drinking with the reindeer and caribou? Yeah, like like over on SRP when they're drinking with the, uh, the elk. It's just different. It's a thick bison. Running down that way. I don't... I never heard him or anything. We've had some good plains bison luck lately. But I wouldn't complain about another level 5. No grizzlies here either. We haven't really killed enough that I'd expect them to be really late to their zones like Black Bear would be. Maybe we should just go into the south. Is it possible for you to do any IRL fishing videos? Oh, I swear I just saw something. Uh, is it possible? Yes. Is it, uh, you know, something that's maybe going to happen in the near future? I, you know, maybe. The biggest challenge with it is 
I want to do more than just like use a you know a chest mounted GoPro or whatever and just like make that the video. What are they doing? Oh, they're still nervous from when we shot the other ones. But yeah, I I, uh, I want the video to be higher quality than that. So it's just a matter of like where do I even put the the camera and stuff to do it? What you doing over there? Why aren't you in a drink zone? What are you doing? Why aren't you in a drink zone? Why are you all females? This does make me think they spawn in pairs and you gotta kill the females though. Like the fact that we haven't seen a male yet. Excuse you. Take your time. We're all waiting on you. Don't stand behind that tree. Thank you. Need to get you a camera? I have. I have cameras. Oh, a cameraman now. I got you. I got you now. What do you fish for in real life? Mostly trout. Like, anymore all I do is really fly fish for trout. I used to do a lot of bass fishing and stuff when I was younger. I did catch a nice bass in West Virginia the year I got my buck. I guess we could have brought the filming equipment, but we had set it up for Kyla because she was hunting. That would have been, because especially since Will was there, that would have been a day that we actually could have filmed stuff. Must be wolves down there. They're acting like they are partially spooked. What's up, Timothy? Gotta get a fancy boat and a drone? I want to get a drone. I've looked into drones like six times in the last couple of years, and I go on Amazon and I go through it, and I'm like, all right, this one's not very expensive. Eh, these interviews say the, the video quality's not that good. Uh, this video says, or this review says it only went like 100 feet and then lost signal or something. So then I look at more expensive ones. And it's like they have this image stabilization and all the fancy stuff. And then I, I'm looking at it. I'm like, well, you got to register it like with the government or whatever because it's too big. I don't know if I really want to have something that's that serious. <laughs> and then I don't buy them. Oh, that is... Crazy pizza. I, why does it do that? Surely the Nightbot should be able to have an exception for that. Just gonna try one? I think I should just get a cheaper one. Uh, yes. Armadas. The Grizzlies do have 4 to 8 drink time. Now, the reason we're hunting at night, like the Black Bears, you gotta kill the old population of bears first to get them into that new time. There's that one. I have a 22. What am I thinking? It's like they know where the trees are compared to us and can just hide. Unfortunately for it, there is a gap between those trees. I think unfortunately for us, we somehow didn't get a vital though. Found a really good way to not hit all those shots. Wish Les Stroud would put on a filming course. You know what's weird? I don't even remember the context of it. But I was I was sitting outside yesterday, and I was thinking about like the old Survivor Man series and Survivor Man 10 Day and all that stuff. Like literally yesterday. Check your stats. What stats? Wyoming doesn't exist. That's what I hear. Need to get up at shadows being sweet and cuddling me. <laughs> I told you she misses you when you leave. Dual survival is the best survival show of all time. Which, like, it depends on which, um, I guess hosts. When it was, was Dave the original? Dave and Cody? I liked it then. Once Dave left, I kind of thought it went a little off the rails. What's up, Graham? Had to take a cruise ship to get to Wyoming? Oh, that's why I can't find it. They moved it into the middle of the ocean. What's going on, Dunks? Hunting and fishing is great in Wyoming? I believe that. Got my first largemouth with a fly rod recently, a solid half pound bronze. Hey, I guarantee you on a fly rod that, that didn't feel like no half pounder fighting it. That would have been cool. 
I do want to do some bass fishing with a fly rod this year. I need to... Really what I need to do is just commit to it and probably accept that I'm not going to catch anything most of the time until I learn how to do it. But it should be fun. Later, Nathan. It's bruv. <laughs> What's going on, random gamer? I'm really intrigued as to where we hit this thing. Joe and Matt? When Joe did the... The, the thing that, like, soured me on Joe being on the show. I don't remember what country or state or whatever they were doing this sur survival expedition in. But he... There was this scene where he, like, killed a, a wild boar or a feral pig or something with a knife. And it was just... He pulled the knife out of the sheath and did this, like, action movie-esque look over the knife and then stab the pig. And as soon as he did that, I'm like, this is a stunt show, like, uh, Bear Grylls. I don't want to watch this anymore. <laughs> it just bothered me. Governor. <laughs> How about Brovner? How about that? All right, let's go to the top lakes, and then we'll go south. What's going on, Dilly? Are the grizzly bears moving their drink time today like the black bears? Yes. I'm glad we're doing this stream, actually, because I wasn't sure how um, public knowledge that was, but a lot of people have asked that. That survival don't be soft. I don't care that he killed the pig with the knife. I'm talking about this sur this uh, action movie, like, look at the knife first thing. Like, it, it, it looked like it was staged, I guess, or like he had planned out how he was going to do it. I Stabbing a pig with a knife to live is cool. Like, I don't, I don't have a problem with that. Imagine grizzly bear hunting and not prairie grizzly hunting. Or pasture grizzly, even. I doubt. <laughs> yeah, never mind. <laughs> Me and a friend of mine started a YouTube channel slash podcast. Would you be interested in being on an episode about hunting? Um, I guess my question would be, what's like the what's the podcast and stuff? Definitely not in the game of stabbing things. Like, if you gotta, you know, if you're there to survive or whatever, you gotta do what you gotta do. But, yeah, I'm not... I, I've spine shot a few deer over the years. Like, when I was younger, especially, where, where Dad would be there, and he would, like, he would always just go up to them and just cut their jugular, which, you know, it's a pretty quick kill. He, he would, like, knock them out first, hit them with, like, a big stick or whatever. I don't have, like, I don't have whatever... What's the word I want? Uh, like primal gene to do that? I literally can't. I'll shoot him again. Like, I'll waste a pound or two of meat and shoot him through the chest one more time. Like, I just can't. I don't. I don't have that. Should I get the angler I love to fish? I've been having so much fun with the Africa map. I would absolutely recommend it. I um. I'm gonna be streaming it here in something like an hour and a half, probably. So you can check it out, but highly recommend that map. I loved Man vs. Wild, come back. Uh, even though it was so choreographed, Bear was so willing to risk it for the biscuit. He, I mean, just like consistently, he'd like yeet off a waterfall into a deep, like, reservoir, just because. <laughs> Soft hands, brother. I don't remember which guy was saying that, but he said that a lot. What map is this? Yukon Valley. Just joined your Discord server. Well, I appreciate it, man. What kind of fish is that in your photo? Is it a carp? I can't... It's super small, but it almost looked like a golden trout, but I think it's too fat. Just started watching you playing the angler in the stream? Yep, in a, probably an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Looking forward to hopefully catching some more big males. Last night's stream, we didn't catch anything big. Well, we didn't catch any high... There's a male, finally. High metal uh, fish. Another male. Uh, let's see here. Distance, distance, distance. This will work. Probably gonna have to let that female live. Because we're gonna spook... Are we? I'm gonna try it. 
Yeah, they stayed. Good. You know, uh, I don't think we got that. Oh no. <laughs> He's gonna die, but I didn't realize I shot five times. What shot did I miss? How weird. Anyway, that felt like the old black bear, like the bug standing on their hind legs really fast animation to me. Like it seemed like that was too fast. Would you go for another great one bear? The grind's not difficult. I've thought about it for like the multi mouth, but I like the way that I do the trophy lodge is I want one of every diamond displayed anyway. So I might as well just do a diamond in or a max score diamond even and a great one in that in that mouth. That bug still exists with all bears? Does it still exist with black bears? For sure. Because I haven't seen it in so long. And then with the grizzlies, like, uh, two of those just did it. Hope you guys can hear Shadow back there. That includes the black bear. But what about black bears? Prefer them bug? Where they stand up real fast? Why is that? It's a carp? Nice. I thought it might have been, but it, it was just hard to tell. Where's the best place to find Largemouth and Call the Angler? Um, the best place? I, I'm i pretty sure where I caught my diamond was the Starter Lake. Well, you know, it's a huge lake. I don't remember exactly what part of it, but I think that's where it was. Oh, you're just joking? I, I thought maybe, like, you found some way of, like, making the most of the animation or something. Really wish they just did a pop reset for black bears, and then that would be, like, all bears, I guess, as an extension of that. Yeah. Like, I do get why they don't want those who are herd managing and stuff to, like, have wasted all their time, I guess, doing that. But maybe could they have just told us, like, months in advance or weeks in advance, whatever, like, hey, there's going to be a pop reset. You know, get your great one or whatever now, because you're going to have to remanage your herds. Or your... That was a weird animation. Your... What's a group of bears called? I guess there's not really a group of bears. It's not a thing. A carpe diem? Clever. What's going on, Nathan? Uh, any recommendations for catching my first bass in real life? Um, the first thing I would think of is like, do you have a local farm that has a pond? Most farm ponds are just loaded with bass. Well, I don't know about most, but at least here. Any farm in the area, you go and ask them, like, yeah, there's there's a 10-pounder in there somewhere. Like, every one of them has a story about a monster bass. You have a favorite pro hunter. I mean, Steve Ranella, I think, would be. I, I had a line in the most recent Meat Hunters video. It's going to come out on this channel on Wednesday, by the way. Um, I said something about, like, it's... Unfortunate wasn't the word. Well, something to the effect of, it's unfortunate to eat buck tag soup. And then when I when I watched the video back, I was like, geez, that had some Steve Ranella like inspiration, I guess. That sounds like something he would say. Maybe he has said it. His approach to well, let's just say like even, you know, hunting videos, because now that he posts his stuff on YouTube, it's at least in a similar genre, is like what I want my videos to be like not the same you know i'm not trying to copy them or anything but it's not about the kill it's about like the journey and the experience and all that kind of stuff i talked about it yesterday on stream a little bit in in the angler when we were just hanging out before i had to go to the airport to go get kyla i watched a turkey hunt from 2021 didn't never had you know never raised a gun didn't shoot anything Got some gobbles on film, filmed one turkey, filmed a couple of young bucks walking by me like five yards with a GoPro. I miss doing that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't know at what point, like, maybe I'd try to shift the content more towards having a harvest in the video. But I want to go back to, like, bringing you along for the hunt, let's see what happens, as opposed to, like, here's the highlights of the season. I, th I think I'm, I've gotten too far into here's the highlights of the season style. What's up? I think it's on the built-in. I don't know if the cord is still connected to it. It might be. Flab, answer me first. Don't call me Flab and maybe I will. Sheesh. Flab. 
know what I should have done? I should have brought tents. That would have been a cool idea. I guess we're just gonna run around the entire, like, even though it's gonna waste a little time, it's probably best just to run around the entire lake and make sure we're not missing anything. Know anyone looking for almost 80 acres that's got deer, turkey, bear, and small game? I mean, I do, but I'm not in that area. Because <laughs> it's me. Rename your YouTube channel to Flabber? That'll get some more views. What caused you to start YouTube? I would say I had, like, inspiration from... Less players and stuff way back in the day. Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, those kind of people I watched a lot. Like, end of grade school, beginning of high school. Um... I don't really know what, like, necessarily what made me want to make content. Like, I just kind of... I tried different things, like somewhere out there in the YouTubes is an old Madden channel. I think I got like three videos on there, so I'm sure it's buried beneath literally millions of videos of Maddens in the, god, ten years or so? More than ten years since I did that? Um, but yeah, like I attempted to do a couple of different channels over the years. I just, I guess I liked trying to like share the experiences in games. Flantro fishing is a good fit. That's got a ring to it. It does. Yeah, KW, I'm not a fan. I, I saw a lot of players tweeted their discontempt for that rule change. Hey, sounds good, Timothy. Appreciate you hanging out. Flix is going to go grind. Sounds good as well. Appreciate you. We'll catch you next time. How's the hunt going so far? We're finally killing some bears. We tried ineffectively to just hunt during their feed time early morning. We weren't getting nothing. Switched it to the old drink time. If, if you're unfamiliar, by the way. It's kind of in the title, I guess. But grizzlies have a new drink time, much like black bears and brown bears, too. Uh, it's now 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. Big meal. Um, but you got to do the same thing as the black bears. You got to kill them all to get them into the new zone. So that's what we're doing. Hopefully by the end of this, we can do at least a daylight hunt and kill some grizzlies in drink zones. That's kind of the goal. And then we'll go fishing. Imagine we kill a gold albino just while trying to get them in the zones, though. Tell you what, these guys getting moved up to class 8, they are tougher than they used to be. Is that a, I guess that is a beer, because we don't have any monsters anymore. I was curious if you were just vibing. <laughs> Big small male. What's up, Terrell? Today's been good. Uh, trophy on a multiplayer Medved server because I've had the most luck with it. Hey, go for it, man. I feel like Medved isn't a map that's as heavily hunted, so you never know what you might run into. I spent my morning recording Classic. I think it's going to end up being an interesting video. It's a combination of, like, the full hunt, a couple of pretty cool kills. Really early on, I had an awesome buck. And then it's a couple of older clips of really nice sized animals so a little combination so that should be fun and then uh we're gonna stream the angler here in a little bit so getting back into that the hooker call the rods I, that might be a different game i'm not sure maybe it's so good in multi maps most refresh what do you primarily hunt like you going after musk deer and moose or reindeer Gone hunting, be back soon to go fish. That's a good one, actually. Next time we do the combo, maybe I'll do that. The stream is officially no longer family friendly. I didn't realize I didn't read the second half of it. I knew that where the joke was going, but the second half of it made it way better. <laughs> I was gonna make a similar joke. Looking for non tips with the flinter bow on loggers. That's sort of what that was essentially my intro for the classic video, except it's Whiteheart. Reindeer? Gotcha. Where would you rank Rancho compared to SRP and Emerald? Between them, I guess? Like, I'm not going to try to rank all the maps offhand here. I'd have to sit down and think about it. But I would say Silver Ridge Peaks, then Rancho, then Emerald Coast. I don't know what it is. Like, Emerald Coast just doesn't have that... Or, oh, oh, we talked about it on stream. Somebody brought this up. Basically, everything's the max weight estimate. So, it kind of makes... Wow. 
it kind of makes tracking completely pointless. Like every sandbar, every rusa, every male kangaroo for the most part is in the max weight range. So like there's no ooh, big track. Let's go see what that is. The, that never happens really on Emerald Coast unless you're tracking foxes, I guess. And then, yeah, I guess the amount of trolls and maybe it could use another species or two. It's just, to me, it's missing something. Do I get ice cream? Is that even a question? Sit down over there. Not, that was... <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard Kyla start talking right before I said sit down over there. I was talking to the bear. <laughs> <laughs> I probably didn't. <laughs> Shut up. I'm trying to stream. <laughs> Any time it's nothing yet, Travis. No, it's terrible. Is that a song, Rack? Should I know that? Should I know those lyrics? Sure you are. You gotta believe me, man. I'm gonna get canceled. <laughs> Going to check Mel's rev spot? She's giving it away. That I don't check that spot like every server I go in, though I do really like that spot. Highly recommend checking it out. Favorite NFL team Steelers. Where can I find Cutthroat on Golden in Call the Angler? See, if I were on the map, I could give you, I could point you to a good spot. How are you going to describe it, though? Oh, okay. Alright, well, she'll get to it eventually. I don't yell at my wife, I swear. I only yell at pixelated bears. You gotta believe me, man. Where was that five I spotted? Way over there. Oh, I was going to, like, read it out, but good. The full stomach trailhead. South of that, closer to where it's just the river, not the big lake. Yeah. I think, I, I'm pretty sure you can catch cutthroats out of the lakes too, but I think the river, like rivers, are generally better for them. Yeah. Where did the, I saw the blood. Yukon needs another species or two? I've always said doll sheep would do wonders on this map. I do like Yukon a lot. I I think it's pretty decently balanced. But another species or two would not hurt. We just instant killed that the second time. And then I got off the track because I spotted that, so let's do it one more time. Do you musky fish? I never have actually. Never never something that like you know anybody in my family ever did to where it was like, hey, do you wanna go musky fishing? I've just never sort of never had the opportunity. Dull sheep should be on Aurora Shores, too. I wonder if that would help. Because I, I love Aurora Shores. Like, we killed that super rare melanistic five-star moose there. It'll be one of my favorite memories in Way to Hunter forever. But I, I think Aurora Shores issue is not species. It's like every other... New, it's the same as Matariki Park. Like, there's really good spots, and the rest of the map's like, why bother checking it? Versus um, Nez Perce in Transylvania. There's such a huge percentage of the map that's got potential. Like, that you should spend time all over the map. I don't get bored of the base game maps. Uh, Sebastian, thank you for subscribing, by the way. Dolce for surprisingly fun hunting classic that and Sitka deer. I don't love the Sitkas as much. But I definitely like the Dolce. They're... I want to check something. It is, uh, yeah, till midnight. Okay. When you get a big curl, like you get a doll sheep with that high estimate, and you start thinking like, could this be a, you know, 205 plus or something like that? I killed a 208 on stream. This is six years ago, I bet. Maybe five. Either way. I like yelled into the mic. I was streaming late and I woke a couple, a couple people up that were in the chat. I was so excited. Add caribou to white rhyme. So remember, um, when it came out, a lot of people were asking for that. 
and my recollection was, or is, they said something like the migrating behaviors of reindeer, because I think they were just going to put reindeer there and call them caribou. The migrating behaviors of reindeer was a problem. It, uh, with the mountains and stuff, it would have been, it would have caused issues. I don't see why they couldn't have just given them like a different AI though. Like I never quite understood that. All right, well, I guess we'll leave the small one for last, and if we can somehow kill all, what is there, six in here? We'll try, but I, I don't see that happening unless they get stuck. And I want to get the six and the seven first. Well, that's three males that'll definitely die. The rest... Pretty well gone. That might be okay. I don't know. Want them to add snow geese to the game? They are in classic if you're uh, ever interested in trying that out. Turkey hunting this spring, that's the plan in what, three weeks I think we're going to Kentucky for a weekend and then I'm going to try to hit it pretty hard here in PA as well. wonder if they might be just separated enough. Ah, she moved the other way, but first shot might have been okay anyway. Maybe not. wonder if a single 300 round kills a grizzly. Ah, what is that? turned right when we shot. All right. Well, two should kill it. If we don't recover them, it'll be okay, but I'd rather actually claim them all so I know. Classics engine won't allow it to be on the newer consoles. That's fair. <laughs> that was, it was May. I'm sure it was in development in probably like 06 or something. If it came out in 2009, Maybe two years, who knows. It wasn't a big game when it came out. A couple of maps was all. What's up, Samuel? Huge fan of FSU, and I wanted to know your thoughts on Jordan Travis going to the Steelers. Um, this is going to be un like a letdown. I don't know. who is he a quarterback? I, like, I get him and Travis Hunter confused. Like I kind of think I know who it is, but... I haven't seen, like, any of his, uh, tape or anything. Do we know an update time for the Angler? If it's anything like when they release their maps and stuff, it'll probably be, like, sort of early morning-ish Eastern time, but we don't have specifics now. How are you always live when I'm out of school? I wait. I just sit there with my binoculars and as soon as, as soon as I see it, it's like a green light, I hit go live. Okay, there's the seven. <laughs> how does how does it work in West Virginia, guys? Is it like the same date every year? Because I saw somebody said that it opened up on a Monday. Or I guess you told me that, Will, when we were potentially planning where we were going to go. And I never really understood, like, it's not as if it was April 1st or something. It's such an arbitrary, weird time. Uh, going for another great one? Uh, it's at least not in the current plans. Don't have classes on Monday, so opening day I'm good? Well, that's useful anyway. Opens Monday in the middle of the month. Does it always open on a Monday then? Is, is that what you're saying? What a weird face that thing's making. Oh, you open both turkey seasons and a rifle on a Monday, and archery is always a Saturday opener. That is one of the ways of all time, I guess, to operate the seasons. Like we used to do the we used to do deer season on a Monday, so it's not as if that's a completely foreign concept to me, but. It was the Monday after Thanksgiving when a lot of people were off, so it made a little more sense. Do you plan to use a shotgun for turkey? Yes. Um, I'm assuming 
Like, your question is, am I using a shotgun or a bow? The day that I get good enough to consistently kill a turkey every year with a shotgun is when I'll use a bow in the spring. I really want to do it, but I'm, I'm not nearly good enough at turkey hunting to start trying to use a bow now. Grizzlies do in the, indeed need a remodel. They're... Like, there's parts of the models I like. Maybe it's a retexture more than the models. They look like Kodiak bears more than grizzlies. And they're weighted like 700 kilo, darn near. They're the size of Kodiak bears, too. Hello. Hey, she's back. She's dead. Missouri's bow season starts on September 15th. Yeah, that... Like, starting on a specific date every year, I guess, makes sense to me. I don't know if that's what you're saying. Maybe you're just talking about this year. Dunks, thank you for subscribing. Do we have a bill that's up for... Whatever, consideration JTAC this year? Makes me glad the way the hunter went with Kodiak instead of Grizzly. It just, I mean, like, does it make the most amount of sense? Maybe not. But you might as well just make them Kodiaks, you know? They're the big ones. They're the ones people think of. Just put them on there. It's a fictional place anyway at the end of the day. What's it going to hurt? 25th here in Ontario. I always thought, like, there's states in the south here in the U.S. Their turkey seasons open so much earlier than a lot of the northern states. I always thought, like, because I would see, you know, uh, the hunting public. Really, this is... I've known about this for longer than the hunting public's been a thing, but channels like the hunting public or wherever, I would see, you know, guys killing turkeys end of February, early March, and I was like, dang, PA sucks. Ours doesn't start till like May every year. I guess it's a lot of areas though it doesn't start till almost May. Best map in the angler. I realize this could be recency bias, but the upcoming Africa map is so darn good. Putting on the whole drone deer recovery thing. Um, just before I get into that, because I do have an opinion on it. A whole drone deer recovery thing? Oh, 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 oh. There was something, huh? I was listening to the Hunter podcast, and I, I saw something about that. Can you, like, can you let me know what specifically... Like, can you give me a quick synopsis of what happened? It was, it was something in PA, right? Senate Bill 67, gotcha. What's more enjoyable to play, Call the Wild or the Angler? I think it depends. <laughs> if I'm catching big fish in the Angler, like, it is a top-tier gaming feeling. Like, I really... When I caught that Diamond Tiger fish, that was as good as, like... Say, a, like, a one of the more rare diamonds, maybe, in, in the Hunter Call the Wild. Like, when we finally got our Diamond Red Fox or our Diamond Bobcat, it was that kind of special. Probably not quite on the level of Great One, because Great One's like, I work so hard for this type of thing. But most of my time in the Angler, I'm not catching anything big. So it's just like a fun, chill vibe. It's two completely different ways of gaming, I guess. About the deer they couldn't legally recover? Uh, maybe? Did I already... No, I didn't claim that yet. I lost track of where I was going. Did you get any trophies? Nothing too crazy yet. This mythical grizzly is the best thing we've killed. There he is. Not sure how many King Patriot, but we're starting to rack up quite the... the haul of grizzlies now that we've gone into their drink time. It is 23-25. We're not going to make it to all these little lakes, but we'll get through most. What I'm going to do is kind of run up here, just in case there were any... that were like too close to where we spawned and therefore weren't visible. Well, I guess it moves to whatever the next step is then, JTAC. We'll see. Do you have to make a certain amount of content for EW gains because you're an EW partner? I think technically there is some sort of like... I, this is funny because Mel just told me this, I think literally today. That there is actually like something in the like agreement when you become an EW partner or a partner creator with EW that's like you know release X amount of content per month 
I don't, I didn't even realize that was a thing. I don't make whatever amount of content I do because it's a requirement. I make it because I enjoy the games. So I, I don't even know how much you're supposed to make, but I'm pretty sure that is a thing. I assume it's not very much. Do you like the Spain map in the Angler? Hate to say it, but not even a little bit. I, like, I don't hate that map. Like, if I were to, you know, if I'm embellishing because I'm streaming and, you know, just kind of what you do, it, I might say I hate that map. I don't literally hate it. I got nothing against it. But I, I have no enjoyment fishing that map at all. <laughs> I just can't get into it. It's funny, like, I don't mind bottom fishing for grass carp and stuff in Africa. I really enjoy that. It's the it's basically the exact same type of thing. I don't like Spain, though. Not the real Spain. The real Spain's fine. Churros are great. Are churros from Spain? Huh? I thought you said no, and I was like, geez, okay. Why? I just want to know where they, like, originate. Churros are good, okay? <laughs> Kyla's getting drunk as heck in the background. I know, she's questioning my love of churros now. Bing says, I think so. Zach says they're from Mexico. Great. This is just like the pronghorn shedding their horns thing all over again. Can't catch anything with the... Tomatillo lore in Spain? Is that a thing? I haven't played the map. <laughs> like, I played it for like four hours and I'm like, ah, this is, this is it. Born in the Mountains, are you on my Discord? Like, I, I I thought, like, I saw that on Facebook or something. I remember seeing an Ibex, like, in an office that somebody's boss just got back. It had to be where I saw that. That, like, freaked me out for a second. <laughs> In Spain, they give you churros with a cup of chocolate sauce? Well, that sounds amazing. What is this guy doing? And where? So we killed both of those. It's not as if that's the other one coming back down here. I don't know where he went, but... something we should spend a bunch of time on. We're limited time as is. If I could spot him, that'd be nice. Oh, level seven. Kind of think, yeah, that was a decent shot. Won't take too long. How can you tell which legendary fish is active? Well, it's a, it's the same rotation. So, I forget the order now, but like for instance on Golden Ridge Reserve, it'll go like Big Larry one week and then Sidewinder the next week and then um, Goldstein. And then it rotates back. Now as for what location they're in, the best thing to do is be in the the Angler Discord pretty, pretty early after the rotation happens. And I believe it's like Wednesday nights. Somebody will find it in post location, then you can go and... Try to find him. Try to catch him. So, Isaac, are you streaming? You taking the melanistic fallow? I'll probably do it for a video, but we'll see. Gonna start a pasture grizzly guide service. Beautiful. What time are you switching to the angler? We'll see. Um, might be in a half hour. Might be in an hour. It's gonna be a longer than two hour stream. So, guess it just sort of depends how things are going. I want to get through, like, these next three lakes. And then maybe hunt them once in the daytime and just kind of see how that is. More way the hunter soon, indeed. We'll see. I don't know if I'll wait all the way to the weekend to try to do the fallow video. It's just, like, it works out so much better for my schedule to do way the hunter on the weekend. But who knows? Where can I get your Discord? Can we get a uh, Discord command in chat? Oh, we only hit him once. Just happened to be a really good shot. I thought we hit him twice. All right, we'll scoot up to that lake. I kind of think we need to kill that female one, but we'll figure it out eventually. 
how's your herds been on Weight Hunter? Transylvania herds have been heating up big time. Um, I've been, you know, trying to stick with them, manage as much as I can. The fallow herd up there, at worst, we're going to get two five stars in Mela. I'm very, very certain that three star mature is going to be a five star. Maybe the Mela becomes a five star too. I think he's got a legit shot at it. He looks pretty big for his age. Um, but I've got some red deer herds that have been good. Obviously, the roe deer have been kind of kind to us. We just killed two five stars. It's been nice. What do you think of a great one elk getting added? Seems like something people would get pretty excited about. How do you not... Like, look at some of the... Like the spider bull, for instance, right? One of the most famous elk of all time. If they added something like that and then, you know, cool furs on top of it, I would think they'd be up there for one of the most popular great ones. Nice, cool. When you reset bear drink zones, will the feed zones reset too? A lot of my maps said they eat or rest from 4 to 8, so there's a conflict. Should I, uh, You don't need to remove the other zones or anything like that. Those zones will just stay there and, I guess, technically be incorrect. So I, I guess... Like, what I would say is it's not as if we're resetting the drink zone. It's almost like we're resetting the entire animal's zone schedule, if that makes sense. New classic video going to be tomorrow. What job would you have if there was no YouTube? I don't know. <laughs> um, so I, I went to college for computer science. I ended up dropping out after like three semesters because I kind of realized like this isn't for me and now I'm going to be in big debt and I'm not going to use my degree anyway. So like why would I get in big debt? Seems like a bad idea. So I dropped out and I was already like I had been doing YouTube for by this point. I guess maybe two or three years as like a little side hobby thing. So I just said, all right, I'm going to give YouTube six months. I'm going to see if it goes anywhere. If it doesn't, I'll go like, you know, do some entry level job and work my way up. If it does, you know, then we'll stick with it. Just so happened, within weeks of me dropping out, Call of the Wild came out on console. Just everything lined up perfectly. So like I'm at home. Non-stop, I can make a bunch of content on the game. Channel blew up, and here we are. So what would I be doing? I don't know. What am I qualified to do? Not a whole lot. Would love to have the spider bull in the game. I don't know if they would make it even like the exact thing, but something like it. Hey, Chris how's it going, man? Hope you're doing well. Have you messed with, um, I think I saw you in there actually. Have you messed with Africa very much? When do you think the next update's coming out? For this game? So, I didn't see this. Let me be clear. Like, I was told this, so it, I can't confirm its accuracy. I never went back and checked. But apparently Jaxi said on stream that the next DLC for the Hunter is going to be a map. If it's anything like their old release schedule, I expect that to be in June. Look, guys, I found a pronghorn shed. Well, they call them sheaths, I think. Like a knife sheath. He did, in fact, say that. Okay. I almost feel like it was you that told me that, but I can't remember. Alright. We'll scoot to these last two lakes. We'll make it daytime. We'll kill some grizzlies and see how it looks. So you went to college for computer science, but was having problems finding the right buttons yesterday? Believe it or not, computer science doesn't teach you where the correct buttons for the angler are. I thought they would teach me that, but they didn't. Technically speaking, you're a professional hunter because of your hunting show? Yeah, I don't know how, how much it technically counts, but I've said it in the, uh, so I do like a yearly, what would you call it, almost like a state of the channel address, like a state of the union address. Um on the anniversary of the creation of the channel, which would be May 12th. So that's coming up here fairly soon for our ninth year. But I've talked about it before, like, 
when I was, I don't know, seven years old or something, I remember watching Whitetail Madness. It was This was a Drury Outdoors production. I think like Whitetail Madness 3, one of the early ones. It was from the 90s. It was a several year old VHS that my parents had by then. I remember watching it and thinking like, this is the coolest thing ever. Like hunting, having a hunting show. I, I don't know if I knew that it was sort of like hunting for a living by any stretch. But I just thought it was really neat, and I always wanted to do it. And, you know, whether it's on Wild TV or YouTube or wherever, it's kind of neat that I've gotten to do that. <laughs> Back in my day. What do you think about a bolt action 9.3 in Call of the Wild? Uh. Like the ones in Classic? I mean, could be good. The reason that I'm not, like, immediately like, yeah, that'd be awesome, is the, at least the 9.3 we have right now, is classes 5 to 9, which just eliminates a bunch of stuff. Which sucks. Grizzly drink time change, hopefully a pop reset, because my map's barren for grizzlies. It is not a pop reset. It's like the black bear, you gotta kill them all first, that's why we're hunting them at night right now. We will be hunting them in the daylight. Um, hopefully in like, I don't know, 15 minutes? Yeah, about the time we do all that, it'll be, I don't know, 4.30, 4.45, we'll be off to do some fishing. The old man Flinter voice is the best. Yeah, I love the young people. Call the Loud is 9.3 by 74. What about a 9.3 by 62? I guess you could. You could make the argument that it could be 4 to 9 or 4 to 8. Do we need another board action rifle that's in that range? You know, maybe not necessarily, but I don't think it would hurt. Still no remodel, indeed. Buttons for the angler were covered in graduate level course when I was in school. Ah, jeez, man, I missed it. I could have been such a good fisherman by now. They need to put this 7 of mod 8 in game. I know you hunt with that in real life, and I hunt with it too. It would definitely, like, it would open up some opportunities for some videos. I, I like to do... It almost always ends up being in classic because it just works out better. But I like to do... In-game... Representations of real life hunts I'm going to go on. So, like, probably in the next couple weeks I'm going to do, do a turkey hunt in classic. And I'll bring a... What would be the closest thing? Because I have a... 12 gauge pump. It's camo. My thought was I could use the 20 gauge, but it's semi-automatic, this camo and classic. I'll just use the regular one. But, um... Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a 12 gauge pump like I'm going to go on... Like I'm going to use in real life. I'll set up decoys like the whole thing. I like to do that. And I do the same thing for rifle season and all that. For deer. If Call of the Wild added the same caliber, it would be easier for me to do one in Call of the Wild, too. 375 is what we need. Should be classes 8 to 9. You know what would be cool? Because Grizzlies are class 8 now. Imagine blasting some Grizzlies with the, with the 375. Ooh, nice. Got a 397 Rosie in classic. I haven't killed a big elk in a couple of weeks now, and I need another one. Your Bone Hunter Classic when it was on sale. It's so much fun bow hunting. Did they do creator weapons on sale or, or did all Parker Pythons go on sale? I wasn't even aware there was a sale. I'd have told people. Is it still on sale? What if you made another channel called Old Man Flinter? <laughs> and it just every video is like, Welcome back to Call of Wild. Today we're going after. Uh, too. <laughs> Bip would watch it. <laughs> the elk in yesterday's vid went up to 5 -0. Did it really? I, I honestly didn't even look at the score. That's a crazy estimate. I think they'll ever add air rifles and squirrels. I mean, never say never. They have an air rifle in... Well, they do have an air rifle in Call of the Wild, but it's the 45 caliber. You're talking like a 17 or a 22, probably. They have a 22 air rifle in Classic. 
Ooh, shot a Mela Shammy last night. The thing that, like, that's crazy rare. When Shammy came out, Leucistic and Mela were glitched and showed up really often. Now, albinos were always crazy rare. But now, like, killing a Mela Shammy, that's a legit crazy rare animal. You hate the air rifle? Which, in this game? Is that Joe Biden? No, I well, I do a Joe Biden version of that, too. But instead of falling asleep, I would say, Well, anyway... Good thing I have a blue roof. Uh, <laughs> really should have bought your Bowen Classic, saved up nearly the 11k required, but ended up buying the 300 for Moose on it. Hey, the 300's a great gun in Classic, though. I can't blame you. It was like the piebald axes when those were over spawning. They probably weren't quite as common as piebald axes, but same. Like, it, axes to your black buck. Black buck. Yeah, they, they have the rare issue, too. But with both diamonds and rares for those species, they were such a common thing that even today, like years later, since both diamonds and rares have been fixed to be legitimately hard to find, you get one and it's just like it's not as special because they used to be so frequent encounters, I guess. How much is classic? You can play classic entirely free to play. Heart brain shot challenge? Get a heart shot first, then brain shot on the next and keep switching? next shots I was thinking about doing like adding an additional parameter to that challenge it would have made that video like 40 minutes though my thought was to add like I guess a, a extra bit of I don't know anticipation and stuff with every shot if I missed the shot like if I didn't get the hard shot I'd have to go back and do the previous animal again but it would have just taken so long the sniff, oh no. How to get rid of the purple spots. So, those are hunting pressure. They indicate an area where you've shot an animal. The brighter it is, the more animals you've shot there, and the longer it'll take to get rid of it. But the way you get rid of it is by shooting animals in other places. So, like, for instance, we have some pretty bright pressure up here, but you see, like, over here is fading, over here is fading. As we've started to shoot some of the bears down on the south side of the map, the pressure in the north disappears. As we move to other spots, the pressure in the south will disappear too, but you gotta kill other stuff, that's all it is. What should I kill this great one with? Depends on what the great one is. Oh, I miss what you said, Mel. You just can't with it? That I'd shot like a thousand geese with it. That was how I grinded for a diamond gray lag in Tundra Bean Gears. I used the air rifle. Nice at you. 80 pounds of cucumbers. Please do a rev the need to fix honey geese with the 22. Why? Wait. What's the 22 side of it? I, re I had so much fun with the Luke. I definitely intend to do more. I think we're going to try to do maybe like a European deer challenge next. So Seeker Deer are technically not European deer, right? Aren't they... They're native to like Japan and maybe somewhere else? And then Axis Deer too. I think they're technically India. Maybe I can count it and just call it good. Want them to add a 17 HMR. Like, so... Not that I don't want one, I really do. I wonder what way they could make it, say, better than the 22 in some aspects, so that people actually use it. They're Japanese? Yeah. Axis are India, Sika Japan. Aren't European natives. Maybe... I could do, like, Eurasian deer, right? Can I just say that? Or is that the incorrect usage of the term? It's a decent estimate, Flix. Hopefully he makes it. Where do you think you're going? See if I can see that other... Because there's a, a second female grizzly here. And I want to be... Now he'll... He Wait, no, that's a female. That's a male. Well, I don't know how to go about this. I guess what we'll do is kill the males. But I'm unsure if we'll get the respawns without killing the females too. I think they're different than black bear in that aspect. I'm pretty sure, like, grizzlies seem to spawn in pairs. And I think 
if we don't kill the females, we don't get either respawn. But because we're working on a fairly limited time scale, we'll just kill the two males and move on. Yeah, they do ping. Somebody, uh, so like I, oh, where was that one at? The video was North American deer species yesterday. And somebody said like, hey, you forgot Sika, they live in Maryland. And I was like, I know, but they're not, at, like, I, I forgot red deer too, because there's red deer on ranches in Texas. Like, they have to be native to it for me to do that. So I think I should stick to the same standard when I do, like, say, Eurasian deer, however I'm going to phrase it. Fun rifle to use for deer and elk in classic? A fun rifle? I mean, any of the classic rifles for me. When I want, like, a fun, like, maybe a little challenging thing, the 303 British or the uh, the Mosin, that would be the 7x62, by the way, the um, Car 98, there's a classic 30 odd 62 they're all fun. Living in an area does not make a species native. Correct. You have to do a Sika and you'd have to do Sika and Reindeer 2 if you call it, what, Eurasian? That's, that's my hope is to do basically all the other species that say deer in the game. So red deer, roe deer, reindeer, Sika deer, axis deer. Um, sandbar and Rusi, even though it doesn't say deer in this game. But they're... Are they only Australia? Like, that that's another categorization problem. Categorization problem. What size hook do you have to have for a gold and above northern pike? Oh boy, like two aught or something? These would be really big. Maybe one aught? I'm assuming, like, you're saying you don't want to catch any silvers, right? Sambar and Rusa are native to India, I think. Imported to Australia and New Zealand. See, that would make life easier for me. Sambar and Rusa are in New Zealand. They're in New Zealand. I don't know for sure. Am I tracking the right bear? I think I just realized I'm tracking that one that we didn't hit. Oh, jeez. Uh... We're almost at the end of the time. Let's zip down to this lake and then we'll worry about finding that one. I'm going to forgive, but it's okay. Just no silver's getting tired of them? I get you. Sometimes I get that way with some of the bigger species too. Yeah, I think you need like a one-odd or something to ward off every silver. Basically everything isn't native to New Zealand and Australia. Sometimes I forget about that. What will the new drink time be for grizzlies? It's four to eight. Same as Black Bear. I know this is personal, but are you and Kyla married? Not until this December. Or until I make one too many dad jokes. Whoa, there's wolves down here? I guess we're kind of close to the west side. Next, Brahunga stream. It was almost today I thought about doing Brahunga and Africa and the Angler, because it would make sense. But then I thought about the grizzly thing, and I was like, I want to shoot a bunch of grizzlies, so here we are. Am I the man of honor? You're one of the one of the one of the men of all time. Other streamers just don't answer. I can't say that I'm 100% on that because I haven't um, fished for pike in a while, but I know it's in that area. I mean, I could if I go to the where's the resource. I'm Could have let him get away. I was tabbed out. I think this is what I want. According to this chart, oh, it's only a two actually. Size two, for, is that right? Size two award off. Oh, I'm thinking of Norway ones. Which map are you on? Did you say Golden Ridge? Yeah, size two for uh, golden up. One out would have been like only diamonds. If 
Got a gold level 3 female bison. Have they always been able to make level 3? Uh, just since True Rax. Somebody got one that's pretty darn close to Diamond, apparently. I don't know how close that actually was, but... Had a comment where somebody said they thought they were maybe bugged because it almost made Diamond. Oh, it was the, uh, the Bobcat video that I did. Because Bobcats, uh, are completely busted right now. That sucks that that one got away. Alright. For now, we'll go with it. Um, we'll back out to the menu. I might as well change the time first. That would sort of make sense. And then we'll back out to the menu. And then we'll check out, hopefully, Grizzlies in the daytime. Is there any diamond you haven't gotten? In this game, we have every diamond currently in the game. What happened to the monthly montages? So basically, um... I don't really do things because of how many views they do or don't get. I'd imagine you know that because, like, I do classic videos and stuff, even though they get way less views than Call of the Wild. But... The montages pretty consistently didn't get very many views, and I thought, like, you know what? I think that's that's pretty clear evidence that people would rather watch just a regular hunt than the montages. So I just started replacing them, basically, with a normal extra video. That level 7 Diamond Bobcat was sus? I think I, m mine was an 8, right? Or was it a 7? Somebody said later... Where did I see that? I can't remember if this was a message directly to me, or if I saw it in the official The Hunter Discord, I, I can't remember. But basically, somebody was doing some kind of, like, fancy testing. And they were able to determine that the same cat was spawning, like, regardless of... Like, the level didn't change the score. So, that makes me think. I maybe should have taxed that. That might have been a legit Diamond Bobcat, and I just oofed by not taxing it. I have one, so it's okay, but <laughs> I wouldn't have hated another one. Tracked a level 5 mountain goat for 3 miles last night just for the troll. Dude, I did something like that too. It was a while ago now, but... My last couple level 5 goats have trolled, but when you track them forever, they look good. Like, big diamond mountain goats, or big... Troll, in our cases. <laughs> mountain goats. They look really impressive. Then you spend all that time and they don't make it. It just sucks. You said cat, and I'm horribly reminded how you one up me hard in the last classic Christmas event. I'm just like the best Yule Cat hunter of all time. It's really that simple. I only killed one, and it was my personal best. I was so like I was legit upset. I thought they were really cool. It was a it was a neat skin. They seemed to be genuinely like not rare, but you know, they were hard to find. People struggled to get one, and I really wanted one, and I just wasn't gonna get one. I tried days on end, and we were ready to leave and go to Georgia. I killed one on my last hunt, and it was a monster. What's up, Summer? You haven't missed anything too special. We killed one mythical grizzly. We've officially... I mean, here, let's see. Throughout the first hour and 20 minutes, we've killed at least 20 grizzly bears. We killed 20 in the last, like, 45 minutes, actually. So maybe 30 grizzly bears we've killed, which means they should now be in their daylight zones. And for the first time ever, we're going to hopefully see some new grizzly drink zones literally right up here at this lake. Yeah, Zach, a 637 Rudolph. Not even in the same hunt. I mean, yes, in the same hunt, but not only in the same hunt. But 10 minutes before I killed the Yule Cat. I believe back-to-back -back kills. Now, the, the reindeer thing, or the Rudolph thing, that was special. But I believe during the Christmas event, there are a higher percentage of high-scoring reindeer that spawn. So, like, having my personal best reindeer be a Rudolph, that's less surprising than my personal best uh, Lynx being a Yule Cat, in my opinion. What's up, Bree? Thank you for the nine months. Welcome back. Certainly appreciate that. I wish the alerts would work for the membership thing. I gotta look into that. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But either way, very much appreciate that. Oh, that's gonna be weird, huh? There's our first new Grizzly Zone. And it's drinking beside a caribou. There's no pressure there, so, like... <laughs> I know it's not ethical, but... Caribou's gotta die, too. That'll be kind of neat. Maybe we can do a little, like, on-the-side rare caribou hunting while we look for uh, albino grizzly. That could be neat. I said albino really weird there. 
what's the new merch? Are you looking at the description of the stream? I probably should change that to just say merch, because it's new as of like two and a half years ago. <laughs> Still newer than the old merch. Oh, what should I go for on the angler? I saw that and I don't remember what I got distracted with. What should you go for? How about tiger musky because tiger fish are dropping tomorrow? Great minds. First male grizzly in a new zone. What is that? Maybe it's just a stick. It looked like a female red fox. I just was thinking, like, hey, how hard is it to heart shot them if you actually try? So, was the bobcat weights off or was it the coins? Oh! So, the the coin thing you're talking about, I think I might have been in a hacked server for that. But that still doesn't change the fact that the bobcat's weight is incorrect. But I'm pretty sure all the coins I was making, I think that was a... Somebody was using, like, a mod or something. Luckily, I didn't kill any diamonds or anything special on that server, but pretty sure that was not legit uh, stuff going on there. What's the new Grizzly Bear Zones? They have a new drink time of 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. If you haven't been here for the last hour and a half, though, um, you do, like Black Bear, and, and Brown Bear also have this change, you do have to kill the old ones first for, for the new zones to actually be used. So that means, like, did I shoot too high again? Any grizzly bear that's currently on your map, it's still going to drink at the old drink zone up until you kill those. The respawns from them, I didn't know the grizzlies had that animation. Uh, the respawns from them will have the new drink time, though. I think we ought to go check that corner. I think we should. Is a mellow magpie rare? Very rare. Can you ever do realistic hunts again? I might consider it, but ever since I started filming my real life hunts, five years ago or however long now, I just, like, I feel kind of dumb <laughs> when I'm, like, trying to, like, whisper into a mic and be like, oh, there he is. Because, like, I actually make hunting videos and, I like, it's hard for me to not just laugh. Like, I can't take it seriously, and that's a problem. ASMR call the wild. Hate the huge four fallow never make it. Eh, it does happen. I never killed one though on my fallow grind. In 6,000 odd kills, not a single level four diamond. Need one more kill for my 500th? What should I go after? Roosevelt Elk because they max a 500 kilo. Isn't that clever? A long time ago, I cut a level 4 mountain goat after like 25 minutes in a server that seemed legit, but it had a stupid low weight, so it's so still not sure. Do you mean level 4 diamond mountain goat? What's up, John Deere? What'd you miss? Uh, probably a good 30, 35 grizzly kills, something like that. Killed a whole bunch in their old zones to get them into the new zones. And just a moment ago, we got to see our first ever Grizzlies in the new drink time, which is 4 to 8 a.m. Same as, you know, the new Black Bear time. So basically the hope is that we can get a gold albino out of doing this. But like they have, it's a four hour drink zone. Three hours are in daylight. It seems like we should be able to kill an albino if we spend some time going after him. It probably Maximus would have been... You probably had to be like at least 130 kilo. I doubt you have a screenshot or anything, but... You have a favorite team for March Madness? I think they already lost, but whatever team that, uh... Jack... He had like a Buffalo Wild Wing sponsorship. Jack Goal Key or something? I thought... I thought that was a neat little story. I don't follow it at all. How rare is a level 4 Diamond Feral Goat? Um... Like... Level 5 d uh, feral goats troll a lot. But they're a weird one where level 4s make it, you know, not all the time, but relatively often compared to other species, maybe. 6 troll roosts and no diamonds? It took me like 15 or something, man. You just gotta keep, keep sticking with it, keep killing level 5s. Eventually, one's gonna make it. Got 
Cannot wait to get the fur type perk. There's few more exhilarating feelings than picking up the stir of veg and seeing like albino or whatever and all caps come up. Like the thought of like, what's at the end of this track? I can't wait. Top tier. Whoa, hello there. There's no pressure there. So we probably ought to be careful and just try to kill the three males. Will I be able to do that effectively? I don't know. Probably need, realistically, this one's so like awkward, we gotta get him first. Oh good. Everything's moving around now. Let him do that again. The only question is, do we get the seven? We did. What happened to the other male? I don't know where he went. Found him. Did you use the windage perk? Nah, I've never messed with it. Nobody over there. I think we deleted a bunch of zones, so stuff kind of moved around, but... Seems pretty straightforward. They're still respawning in the area. The recoil management perk is so good. It... So often, especially if you're grinding, it so often is the difference between, say, three kills and two kills in a zone. Why are the Grizzlies and Caribou casually just chilling together? They're, they're good friends. Do you like the new 4570 pistol? I do. I, I think, like... It's, it's probably never going to be, like, say, the best choice for your class 4 to 9 weapon. But if you're small game hunting and you need a pistol to cover some of the bigger animals, that's when it's really going to shine. What semi are you using? It's the new 300 AR from uh, the High Caliber Pack. He's on Oakland and I don't think they've lost. Oh, I thought I thought the run was over already. He, he was the one that said something like, I know I'm not going to go to the NBA. They upset some good team. Uh, he, his quote was like, I know I'm not going to go to the NBA, but on any given night I can compete with those kind of guys. I just thought that was kind of cool. Like a mini Steph Curry. I think he's bigger than Steph Curry. Just on the... When I've seen him on the court, he looks like he's bigger than Steph Curry. Minis maybe not. He probably meant that differently than how I <laughs> initially read that. What time did the stream start? 3 p.m. Eastern, so an hour and a half ago. I think the problem, like, I mentioned trying to kill some caribou along the way to try to get a gold caribou or a rare caribou in the process gonna be a struggle because they're using the exact same spot for the zones and hunting pressure is gonna be a, a problem really quick love the sound of the 4570 and 243 pistol more than shooting stuff with them they do have a really satisfying sound Do you miss how the game used to be played before the intense grinds and stuff? I miss the mystery of the game more than like how it used to be played, you know? Like just not, not knowing how anything worked and just going out and going out and hunting basically, right? I've said that before, like, it is a hunting game at the end of the day. So to some degree, I hope that actually hunting stays as as something that like people want to do in the game forgot today was monday what's up seth it is indeed monday all right listen you dummy what are you doing gotta get that out of the gene pool is it new that you can shoot bison in the head and be fine you shouldn't be able to do that What's the most insane thing you could do while hunting? What do you mean? Messed up level 9 links and I think it bugged out because the tracks ended and I'm kind of glad it did. Huh. Well, I mean, I guess, yeah. If, if you're going to have one glitch out, better one that you accidentally messed up than one that would be diamond. Miss when Mountain Goats had a drink time. You know, it probably wasn't the most realistic because you legit could go to like six lakes and see 300 Mountain Goats and know like the entire, you know, Silver Ridge Peak map population 
really quick. But that it was nice to just like sweep through and get to see all the maybe golds and diamonds and rares that could be on the map. The most stupid insane thing you could do while hunting? I don't know. Like... Any of the many dangerous ways you could hurt yourself or someone else? I saw... I don't know if it was in Discord? I saw... It was like a screenshot of a Facebook post, I think. A guy that was set up turkey hunting and then got shot in the back. Like, luckily it was mostly, he had a tree that was covering most of him, so it mostly hit him in the arm and stuff. But, like, some dude just stocked up and shot movement. Shot a guy in the back with a shotgun. Like, anything like that is is on the upper end of crazy and thing, insane things you can do. Insane. What's up, Robbie? Nothing too crazy just yet. We've killed a whole bunch of grizzly bears, got quite a few of them into their new drink times. So we're checking that out. No big ones yet, no rare ones. Gonna go through these lakes and then do a little bit of fishing by the end of the stream. Oh no, just got trolled by a pieball legendary gator, that hurts. I'm sure that is painful. I Like the way that I try to approach that, I would just look at it and be like, yep, that was a really nice pieball mythical I killed. Like just, <laughs> when you go by at the lodge, for all intents and purposes, it was a mythical, not a super troll. All bears drink in the daytime now? Yes, but you gotta kill your bears, like your old, or say current, population of bears before they change to the new drink times. Which can be, you know, I guess it's not a huge task. It can be a little frustrating, though. There's a Valentine's Day card from Kylo on my desk and it's like shiny and the sun's coming through the window and blinding me off that shiny part. Have you had any super trolls? Only one and I didn't shoot it. So that's going to not make sense. Back when Quadro Cleanus came out, Grado's Ibex were pretty common trolls. And I was not in my map. I was with G-Man. Actually, we might have been in a multiplayer server together. I, I don't remember whose map we were on. But anyway, I'm going along, and I see Albino Ibex. Cool. Pull up my binoculars, spot it, level 5. No way. You know how, like, when you spot an animal, its tracks will immediately become active? Right next to me was one of its tracks. And I ID'd it, and it was 97 kilo. Now, that's not going to make any sense if you don't know how the game worked back then, but weight and score prior to Truex were basically like super closely linked. It was impossible to get a Diamond Grados Ibex unless it was like above 98 and a half, 99 kilo. That 97 kilo guaranteed it was going to troll. So I was just like, shoot that. I don't even want to look at it. So he, not only did he shoot it, he messed it up, which was funny, but it would have been a 937. It would have been a troll by a significant amount. Not bad, the Bing. How many super rares do you have? Something like seven or eight, not counting waterfowl. Two whitetail, moose, water buffalo, axis, uh, gray fox. Is that it? I think there's one more. Kudu. So I think it's I think it's seven. Two hours of each, probably like an hour-ish, hour and change of the angler. We'll see. Miss having conchecks? I miss quick kill. I don't miss the conchecks. Though it was a, it was a fun, not fun. It was a, what's the word I want? Like, I, when I look back at it, I, like, remember it fondly, but I hated it in the time. How about that? Welcome back, Ribbit. Imagine having that many that you can't remember them all instantly. Well, it is, like, I guess you could say it's because I have so many, but really, I killed most of them, like, prior to 2020. Like, my albino moose isn't in the lodge. My albino, or sorry, my mellow kudu's not in the lodge. My... 
Water Buffalo was on the old system, so it had the old Legacy Horn. He was a 951. But the two Whitetail are in the lodge, and the Gray Fox is in the lodge. And then, like, I have two Piebald Diamond Cinnamon Teal that nobody cares about. I have a Piebald Diamond Harlot Conduct nobody cares about. Uh, two Piebald Diamond Axis Deer. One of which is a legit super rare. One was killed when Piebalds overspawned. Or maybe when Diamonds overspawned? No. I think it was when Piebalds overspawned. I forget. One was after they fixed all that. How long till the end? Uh, no idea. We'll see. Depends on how much fishing we do. Got a male here. Yeah, I'm gonna need tents. As good as these legs seem to be, we need, like, better vantage points. Level 5! Holy! Oh, if I had more breath, we could have had a better follow-up. I tried to just spam shoot it, but... Oh. That'll work, I guess. Not as loaded at this lake as it was before. But it really was... I think this one that had all the bears before. I mean, if you're just gonna run along up there, I'm just gonna miss you. Ah, oh, that was such a troll. <laughs> I don't like that it's making me look bad. If you ever make me look bad, that's what's gonna happen to you. Anyway. <laughs> Got a diamond pike, nice! Mess up and kill a forest armature? It happens. I I've oofed on quite a few things like that. It sucks at the time because you think like, man, all that work, or like, man, he'd been a five star if I'd have just given him one more year. But at the end of the day, it doesn't like hurt anything. You know, maybe it takes an extra Couple cycles so you get a five star, maybe out of that herd or another herd, but there will always be more. So I have a super rare lion, but it's dark brown, so a lot of people don't even realize it's super rare. Same with my dark. Oh, you have a, a male Gemsbuck? That's the dark fur type? I did. I like forgot that they could even be the dark fur type. That's really cool. I just want a diamond male. I don't even need a. Need a super rare. That's awesome, man. CT, there was... And I think it was supposed to be by the end of this month or maybe next month. There was a post they had somewhere where they said something like, we're hoping to be able to have a big announcement like this month or next month. I'll see if I can find it. Uh, thing is, he posts so often... Must have had that in like general chat. Yeah, somebody had asked him. Hmm. I'm not gonna be able to find it quickly, but it sounded like maybe there was some hope that that something might happen, but I haven't heard anything since. Is albino grizzly more rare than mela? Yes, which is weird. They're one of the few species where that's the case. I think chamois are another one. I think albino chamois are more rare than mellow chamois. Do you think you messed up any trophies when you first started playing Wade the Hunter? Oh yeah. The first thing I killed was a 99% mule deer. <laughs> I didn't know anybody. He was a two-star adult. Mel and I were so excited for this game that we had like these whole theories planned out. We misunderstood the way that it worked, but I remember talking about like I don't think rares were a thing yet, but we thought that the star rating was going to be the same. Like the, the understanding that we had, which was wrong, was that the star rating was just their fitness. So the thought was like, oh, five star young, got to wait till he's mature to see how big his antlers get. Like that's how we thought it was going to work. So when I saw a two star adult, I was like, oh, that's bad genetics. So I shot it. Yeah. Would have been a public land 5-star right outside the starting lodge. Would have been the easiest 5-star of my life if I knew how the game worked. I messed that up. I shot a 4-star whitetail day one that was 93%. He'd have been a 5-star. Um, I shot, I've shot like 4 90% mouflon. I don't know why that always happens. They're like 1-star youngs. 
Hook size 9 good for bluegill? Uh, I think. I won't. Eight's for, is it, is it 8 for diamond though, or is it 7 for diamond? I'm, but I'm asking like, are you only going to catch really big bluegill? If that, if the, oh, then yeah, I'd use a, I'd use an 8 then. Small fish confuse me. You ain't a real one if you haven't accidentally shot a 99% animal? Absolutely. Pizza's in here, he's done that. Yeah, but pizza's just bad. No scope for level 3 turkey? Nice. There are no grizzlies down here now. They probably moved. Got a 5 star public land pheasant. There you go. 475 on the dot. What I done? Didn't kill a 99% red deer. Or what I did? There's a burr. Gotta relax with that. Standing up animation. I saw one. It's probably a female, and it's it's tougher to see against the snow as the background, but that sure looked potentially mellow to me. We'll try to get the track. 99.96%. The fact that that was a two-star mature is pretty dumb though. Like I gotta give you that. Biggest whitetail on classic? 201 and change. I forget. I had like a 10-year long quest to kill a 200 whitetail. I ended up killing them on May 4th, 2022. I remember the date because the stream title was like, May the 4th be with you. And the May the 4th was with all of us, apparently. So, Grizzly that ran away. Not to mellow. And at this point, we'll scoot down to the last lake. And then I think we'll go fishing. What music do you use? For the streams, it's from Epidemic Sound. Um... Long story short, they changed their site. The A lot of songs on the site used to just be called, like, these used to be called Happy Folk Guitar. So it's it was like 1 through 18 is like my entire playlist. Now, they have actual titles, but they're just downloaded on my computer forever as that. So I can't even tell you the name of the songs. Moose can be 5 star if they're 2 on their first year maturity. Yeah, so the confusing thing is, I do know that that can happen. Like, two-star mature red deer definitely get to five-star. Like, that happens. A lot of five-star red deer start as two-star matures. But when they're 99.96%, I expect them to jump to three-star mature immediately. Like, I'm pretty sure I've killed red deer that did jump from two-star adult to three-star mature. And they weren't that high genetic potential. So I don't understand why his did that. At some point there, I almost accidentally spotted it through the branches, but I never saw it. Hook size 8 for diamond bluegill? I think it must be like 7 or something for diamond. Like if you're only trying to catch diamonds. 8 will get you, Kyla said, like silvers, golds. But you can absolutely catch a diamond on a on an 8, 7, anything like that. Okay, myself a brain freeze. I don't know if that's a brain freeze or just normal functionality. Killed a one-star adult wallabies that was 95%. A lot of the oofs I end up having are like not even in videos. I don't know if I ever had a wallabies, but just about everything in the game at some point I've shot a high genetic potential one where it was like, well, shouldn't have done that. It happens. How's the bronze to diamond system work? Essentially for every species there's a requirement meaning you know let, let's make it really simple we'll take grizzly bear I'm gonna give you arbitrary I'm gonna give you not the real numbers because it's easier to understand this way let's say if it scores higher than 10 it's a bronze higher than 20 it's a silver higher than 30 it's a gold higher than 40 it's a diamond it's just as simple as that the numbers are different and they're unique for every species but that's all it is, is like how high of a score it has correlates to a certain metal. She doesn't like you, pizza. It's very clear. <laughs> yeah. That is how I felt, because every time I streamed the angler, you were like, hope you catch nothing. 
she wants to be the better fisherman, but she knows I'm the best because I caught the first diamond tiger fish. Only because I didn't have accidents. <laughs> no, you would have been you would have been catching other diamonds, not cool ones. Uh -huh. What do you think about Way the Hunter adding a great one system to three animals? So, the difficult maybe if they did it for every species, it could be okay. The I think the negative to adding a great one, like one of the things that does suck about Call of the Wild having great ones: black bear, moose, uh, whitetail, red deer, and fallow deer are far and away now the most hunted species in the game. And a lot of stuff just gets overlooked, like a lot of, especially newer players, like people that are new to the game see Great One Grinding as like the thing to do in the game. So that's what they start doing. And like a lot of players have, you know, they've never shot a grizzly bear before in the game. Some of them probably don't even know they exist because they only hunt like those species that have like the big reward. And I think like that's something that Way the Hunter, like knowing how Way the Hunter is, I don't think they would want a high percentage of their animals to not be hunted. Want albino, etc. fish on the angler? 100% same. Like, imagine, you know, golden trout, golden rainbow trout, that is, that kind of stuff. Just as a potential rare you could catch? It would be so cool. I'd love it. Just found an albino doe on Rancho. There you go. Goodness. I didn't mean to stream the hunter for two hours, but here we are. Maybe if they added, like, non typicals? Well, they did do the new racks for Mule Deer, so maybe. They have some sort of non-typical qualities. All right, off to the angler we go. So what I'm going to do is... I'll probably just do the BRB screen, because otherwise it's going to be a black screen anyway. I will close this. Oh, hey. Uh, well, that's not going to work. <laughs> Hang on. So I'll do that screen. Load up the angler here real fast. Apparently, I never put the game capture source on the BRB screen, and that's how I was going to switch it over, but I can't access it without doing this. So now, we do the angler. We're here. All right. So we'll jump on Africa. I will go AFK real quick to go to the bathroom and we will start catching some fish. So it's a good thing I muted while I was AFK. 
Shadow doesn't like if I move fast, and I got up fairly fast. You might have just heard her woof there. She started barking like crazy, so I'm just going to tell you now, it might be wise to turn down your volume for a couple minutes till she lays back down. We'll see. Hopefully she's going to just chill. Angler, angler, angler. <laughs> We're going to go catch more more uh, diamond tiger fish to make Kyla jealous. No. <laughs> No, tiger fish are the cool ones. No, I do want to try to catch spotted bass, but every time I try to catch them, I instead just catch, like, tiger fish and stuff. I don't know where else to go for them. What about over here? I don't even think I've been here yet. Let's go there. Maybe there's... No. Maybe there's tiger fish there. Max volume. Everybody's a masochist. Angler's a bit boring. It depends on what you're into. It's a really chill vibe, like, to stream it, though. I enjoy streaming it more than just playing it, like, randomly by myself. I don't even think I fished this little pond, but we'll go with the original plan first. Uh, what road, actually? If we take this one and loop it around. I have a return. Welcome back, man. Is Norway a noob-friendly map? I would say Golden Ridge is more noob-friendly. Norway has some big stuff. And, like, there are some small fish that you can get started with, but Golden Ridge has, like, a, a plethora of small fish that you can get started with. Oh, that's true. They have, like, four smalls now. But still. Are you excited for the official release of South Africa tomorrow? I am. I don't know if I'm going to stream or anything for it because I know Kyla's going to stream it, so I'll probably just hang around in her stream. But I I really want to see what people can can catch. I'm excited to find out how big that tiger fish was too. Because norm <coughs> Would you stop? Normally, if you catch a diamond, you can compare like, oh, the record's 36 pounds, mine's three <coughs> pounds smaller, it's a lower end diamond. But... In my case, I have literally the only diamond t tiger fish that currently exists. But I have no idea. I might have caught one, like, on the absolute upper end. It might be on the absolute lower end. Probably with my luck, it's lower end. This is a Kerper location. Ooh, I do like the blue Kerper, though. What do I need? Silver? All right. Shadow says, I will not stop barking. It's just, like, it's literally because I got a, I didn't, it's not like I ran out of the room. I just walked a little bit fast, and she's like, oh, something's happening. I better go crazy just in case. You can bark over there. That's fine. I went two inches, I know, but we're going to start here. And I guess I'll start with the popper. See if we can catch a bass. But I'm definitely going to try to catch some Kerper. I do like them. Norway pike is a perfect beginner-friendly fish. Yeah, 30 powders on two-pound test, no big deal. Oh, pizza. <laughs> going to the IRL for Hunk of Savannah in May on a hunting trip. Really? What are you going to be after? Turn this drag up some while we're just sitting here. Are there going to be no spotted bass here either? There have to be. Like, it's the perfect place uh fearless thank you for subscribing atlantic salmon can be ripped in on the beginner run oh yeah absolutely they're not a problem does this game have a trophy display yet it is not i don't know if they're ever going to do anything like that i'd be okay with like a journal or whatever that kept even like the screenshots or, or like an aquarium or something where you could just view the 3d model again not sure why they haven't implemented anything like that. Maybe this is just carp and carper and stuff. The thing about noob fishing is that... Oh, it's easy to hook into a, a pike? I caught one. I thought it was going to be a diamond for sure. It was a half hour fight. I caught one on... I don't remember. I think 13 pound... Maybe monofilament. I, I forget what I had. It was like a 16 pounder. It was close to diamond. But I spent forever fighting him. And I, I wasn't trying to catch him. I didn't know he was in there, but he, he hit my lure and I wanted to get him. Yeah, but yours actually made diamond because that's your luck. Yeah, mine took 30 minutes for a gold. Wasn't even worth it. I'm telling you, your luck's better. It's not fair. Do Blue Kerper hit... Bloodworms, yes. 
We'd be better from the shore here because the the drift is actually towards us. Are there no are there no indicators to tell you what fish are in the area on this map? I haven't seen them. Are there any on any like is Golden Ridge the only map that has that? Can somebody tell me because I actually don't know the answer to that. Seppy, thank you for subscribing by the way. I don't remember Spain having that. I, I do think Norway has it. Would you consider playing Battlefield? I mean, I might play it, but it's definitely not something I'd be able to make very good content on. It is on all maps but this. Wonder if they're going to change that. Now, again... Hey, those are our new PB. Ooh. Need to activate some dailies. You don't see the icon. Well, then how do you know? You have 70 golds on Spain. It says you have 70 golds on Spain. You're a maniac. Lame. No, it's not too difficult. It's specifically that I'm too impatient, actually. Should I try to catch nine grass carp? I don't know if I want to catch that many, but... Oh, those are... What did I just activate? I did dailies. And then weeklies. I just do anything and give me 768. I'm not catching 25 spotted mass. I can't even catch one anymore. That'll work. And away we go. What's that, Ian? That one time on Golden Ridge? I have no idea what you're talking about. What map do you think is the most visually beautiful in the Angler? I, I mean, zoom out here. The mountains and stuff here on Africa are really nice. I do think something that maybe hurts it is like there's less vegetation. And like, you know, it depends on what you consider visually beautiful. I do think Golden Ridge is pretty, pretty darn good too. Do you have to restart when the map comes out? Like, do I have to restart? I think, I, I think that's what you're asking. I don't know. I've asked Jaxie this. He is also unsure. I think he asked the team. Let's see if they answer it, actually, because I saw there was some conversation in there. It may be possible, but you would do so at your own risk of issues in the future with the game. So keep those save backups. All right, well, I'm going to try because I want my Diamond Tiger fish to exist. It probably is the only one I'll get. First cast, we got one. Now they don't like me. Do you think Fishing Planet is good? I've never played much Fishing Planet. Press the clip button, wondering what it would do. So now there's the most random clip of you talking. It doesn't like publish them anywhere. It's only if you have the link to it. All a clip is on YouTube, essentially, is a hyperlink timestamped to a particular point in the stream, which I don't like. I wish it was like Twitch, where clips were like, you know, a separate tab that was a almost like a viewable little short or whatever. Did we already do Call the Wild? Yes, we spent about two hours hunting grizzly bear. Whoa, geez, I'm trying to sit up and almost fell and died. Um, we killed probably like 30 or 40, got a bunch of them into the new daylight zones. No big ones, no albinos though. Gold binoculars, yeah. <laughs> I have seen them at least. I, I haven't fished for them. I don't know if I ever will. I like to try to catch bigger fish in the game. But the thing is, like, I like these carper and stuff. I enjoy them. But the absolute tiny fish, not really my forte. Can a mod put another mod in timeout? No, I can put mods in timeout. I did that to... Aaron once on Twitch as a joke and it like removed his mod status and stuff. I didn't know that it worked that way. Put them in the oven, toasted pizza. The anglers. Pay to play and fishing planets pay to win? Am I am I understanding those correctly? 
I'm not sure. Ugh. You bark, I'm gonna chuck you on the floor, okay? You gotta be good. Will we see a speed run for this game? Definitely not this game. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what I would speed run in this game, but Shadow's like grabbing my arm. She wants to chew my hand, but I see a fish. Quit looking at me, you weirdo. There we go. What's the background music? It's from Epidemic Sound. It's uh, it's just like some uh, generic guitar. Hope that sounded like a whale breaching, by the way. Shadow breathing right into the mic like that. Current might be a little too hot. When you're zoomed in, it looks worse than it is. Here, I won't zoom in this time. I don't know if you can see it, though. I'll try to, try to point to it. Thanks, Shadow, for pushing my arm right away. <laughs> That's right. There, like, it's a pretty... It, I guess in a non-flowing body of water, maybe it should be a little bit slower. I don't hate it, though, because... Like, effectively, you're just getting to cover more water without having to recast every now and then. That's one of the things... Maybe that's why I don't mind this map, because it has this part of the update. Maybe I'd like Spain better now. But one of the things that I always hated, like, I'd leave my bait out for a minute or something, not catch anything, and be like, well, no, I gotta move it. Now, if I, like, I'll open the bail arm, just let this thing drift. I can cover half the lake in one cast. What is that wave? 0.94 pounds? <laughs> Kyla just got the smallest eel of all time on Spain. <laughs> Grass carp speed run? There might not be any carp around on that side. Game needs rod holders. Totally agree. Like, if we could have this fishing rod in a rod holder right now, and then throw our popper out in case there's any bass or anything around, that would be, I think, a fun way to do it. Small eel. Should tell Kyle to stream right now? That might be a little echoey and stuff between the two streams. Do you think the angler would bring out a saltwater map? I think eventually they will. I mean, I'd imagine that seems like the natural progression of things, right? Spaghetti noodle eel. <laughs> that looks like a decent fish. If that's a blue, which I think it is. Spain's worth grinding for the huge feed of rod in the souvenir shop? Hold on a minute. If that's a blue, this is a way nicer fish. Um, Could you tell me how many tokens it takes? I doubt I'm going to grind Spain for it, but that would be the ideal way to catch uh, Sidewinder would be with that rod, I think. That is a blue. This is a big one. Nice. I think they get up to close to seven pounds, so diamond's probably in the, like, six range? Yesterday we needed two golds. All stream, didn't catch a single gold yesterday. What are we, ten minutes into the angler, fifteen at the most, and we already caught a gold today? Naturally. But again, why did we catch that? Because, uh, we were able to let the bobber just drift. So we'll do it again. Does the angler have multiplayer? It does. It even has cross-platform. They look like tilapia. A what? A dry fish. It did. Didn't you see it? The rod strength in Spain is 110. Line strength 66. Yeah. See, like, so I, I know a lot of people have been catching Sidewinder with, like, corn on a bottom fishing rig. And I'm sure I could catch them on the rod I have currently. But, you know, obviously a better rod and stronger line would help. I doubt. It's like 500 rep, 30 golds, 3 diamonds, 1 legendary. Hmm. We'll see. I doubt I'm going to get the 3 diamonds of the thing. Although apparently... Oh no, I'm thinking Arctic Char. What's, like, a decent diamond to get off of uh, Spain? 
think we'll do one more cast with this, then we'll try a couple of bottom fishing casts. That was a bass, though. Like, what are they? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That was definitely a bass. I don't know if it was a spotted. I, I didn't see. Could have been a smallie. But they should absolutely hit this. You know what time the new update drops? No. Um, I don't think they ever have, like, a specific scheduled release. They're just sort of whenever they're ready kind of thing. But it's usually fairly early in the morning, Eastern time. And then no reaction to this. Unless that was like the smallest bass of all time, that absolutely should, absolutely should hit a size five popper. Let me put a frog on here. Maybe they'll like that better. It's a size six, so we're gonna catch some really small males if they're around, but I would like to catch a bass. Brown trout on Spain? They're, they only get to like, what, eight, eight or ten pounds? They're way smaller than Norway. Maybe they get a little bigger than that. Leave the frogs alone? No. They're my bait. Roach and Crucian carp are the easiest for diamonds on Spain, although since you don't like flow fishing, that might be an absolute pain. Well, with the floating uh, mechanic now, and again, that bass just says no. Alright. Anyway, with... What was that? It's a big fish, too. Huh. Let me try this again. <laughs> With the floating mechanic, what I can in theory do is find, like, you know, go to a lake that has, that's considered like a diamond hotspot or whatever for the species that I want. Find the direction of the flow of the water, cast out, and then like I can edit or whatever, and then, you know, just sort of pay attention to this while I edit. I think that would be my way to grind something like that. Now, I swear that was a... There's one there. I swear it was a blue kerper. And we're using the same thing we just caught a gold with. And it just said, yeah, nah, no thanks. And then this little absolute baby one comes over here. I don't know what that was. Are you going for a grass carp? I think we're... I was about to give it a try a second ago. I think we're going to see what's in this little pond. Maybe there are grass carp in here. But then I saw what looked to be another really nice blue carper, and I wanted to try to get him. Like, if we can catch a juvenile, that had to have been a decent one. So what if I throw it over here? He was literally, like, right out there. So maybe we can drift it by him. Or drift it by wherever he is now. That one. Right there, I saw it. Come get this. Well, that's a decent one, too, but that's not the one I wanted. Is that a yellowfin tuna they should add? Mahi Mahi? How big do they get, though? Because aren't those quite large? I can't tell that. It seemed like it put decent tension on it. What was the last one? Four something was the, the gold? I still think this one right next to the boat was bigger. Oh, wait. Uh, cat. What did I just do? I broke the game. That's a bass, though. Like, just... Wrong rod. Just hit my froge. I want to be a bass fisherman. So far past him. Will you ever post your secret spot? What is my secret spot? I don't even know that I have one. Yellowfin gets to like 200 pounds. So, Wells Catfish get something like that, 200 pounds. And they said they wouldn't be able to add something like that because it'd be like an engine limitation. I think that's a smallie, but... I don't understand why they're not hitting this. they both hit eggs? They will. I can't do eggs, I don't think, on the bottom fishing rod? Maybe I can. I can't. 
I don't think it's deep enough here that it's going to matter. 16 feet. Should be doable. Anything good for the bears? Nothing special. We killed, I would imagine, like 30 or, well, we killed, I think, more than 30 before we even got to the daylight zone. So probably 40-some bears. Nothing crazy, but just, you know, getting us started. New animations you wish they'd added for this game? I guess it'd be kind of cool to see, like, feeding animations, you know, a fish chasing them up, like a really small fish or something. That would be, that would add some life to it. The bass are just mocking you? Honestly, like, I don't know, I don't know why they don't like me. One animation of you pulling the fish out of the water? That's a good one, actually. Whether it's with a net or whatever. You can use every bait on the bottom, but you can't use bottom baits and floats. Makes sense to me. Makes me think that the temperature is just wrong for bass. I don't really know. So I'm going to put back on a carp setup real quick. Which is just going to be, for now, a red worm. I'm going to cast towards the deeper area out there. Probably like 25 feet. I don't even know if we maybe made it there, but that's 17. Give that a minute. If we don't catch anything, we'll move. How dare you not say the phrase, that makes sense to me, like Mr. Patrick Star? I guess I should have. I would say there's grass carp in here. I don't think this is a big one, but that's almost got to be what this is. Sounds good, Dylan. Do you play FPS games? Not really. I played some when I was younger and had better reflexes, but I'm not good at the games to begin with, and now my reflexes are just not even as fast, so just inevitably going to lose. That's not a carp. Oh, it is a carp, but it's not a grass carp. Hmm. So what if... We put a large hook on there. And what? She should work, I think. I hate that if you change your rod setup of the one that you're currently using, it makes you sit back down in the boat. There's commons on this map. There are common carp. There's commons, mirrors, and grass for carp species. Cheese. All right, well, this one should be better. Carp will hit very large hooks, though. I think we'll be able to get it here, but might take a little bit. Back in my dad, the stock market crashed. <laughs> what kind of hunting do you recommend for beginner hunters in real life? And I mean like bow hunting or something else? I mean, it. I think it's really good to learn bow hunting early because it, like... Everything that you learn from bow hunting can trans translate to hunting with a gun. If you learn to hunt with a gun and you learn, like, you know, when a deer's 100 yards away, you can move and stuff. Then when you try to hunt with a bow, you might expect to be able to get away with stuff more. But early success for a new hunter is important. So I would start with a gun because you're just more likely to be able to get a deer. Lord fish? It's probably going to be... Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. I think... It's probably going to be like a big silver common. Maybe a gold, but I doubt it. That said, I've got like 35 pound catfish on this, and I don't think 
the tension was this high. What's gold for commons? Because they get to like 60 some pounds, right? There's no uh, stalker. Like, I haven't heard of any plans for them to do that. It's still pulling line. Like, it should be pretty tired out by now. Do you know how big the grass carp get? I don't think they're going to get as big as the commons, but I've caught as high as a 25 pound silver, so I'd imagine we're easily looking at upwards of 40. Gold for commons on Spain is around 31. Okay, if it's the same here, this is a gold. Just based on, like, how heavy this fish feels as we try to bring it in, this is 30 plus pounds. Fairly confident of that. Now that doesn't mean commons don't get bigger here. The, the same species on multiple maps has different requirements because in real life, fish that live in different places get to different sizes. Is that a mirror? I thought it's a really considerable dorsal fin. No, that's a common. No, get back here. You've had your chance, now it's my chance. Should be able to land it right in here somewhere. This is the thing, you gotta get to like, specific spot with this small boat I feel like. Finally. If it's 31 here, I'm gonna be a little annoyed because that's so close. <laughs> ah, well. Like I said, probably a big silver when I initially hooked it. Might as well try again. They look so small. I, I think all the species on this map, the model scaling could be better. Like our 33 pound tiger fish, to me, it doesn't look like that'd be a 30 pound fish. That was a 30 pound carp. Probably needs to look a little fatter. Uh, the catfish I think are okay. Cause they're like a larger model. They're just a bigger fish generally. Though I haven't caught a really big one to be able to say that. What else? The grass carp could probably scale a little better, but I think they're decent. I don't know, Danny. So I asked Beard this because I want to keep my diamond tiger fish, right? And what I was told, he didn't know. So he asked the team and they said it may be possible, but you would do so, like, basically to clarify. I would have to, like, go manually copy my save from the early access build back to the live build. So he's saying I would be doing so at my own risk of issues in the future with the game or, or with game data. So keep the backups just in case. So I guess I'll just keep a backup and hope for the best because I do want to keep my Diamond Tiger. I just think it's cool. She looks depressed. It's because you haven't given her any food yet. Guess we caught the one thick carp in this area. I want them to add different looking types of fish based on their weight, like a 20 pound pike would have a big fat gut. That would be good, instead of just model scaling. Good point. What's up, CT? We just caught a 30, or no, 29.3 or something pound common carp. It was pretty decent. Apparently gold on Spain is 31 pounds. I don't know whether they get bigger on this map, but that's typically the way things go. Although we did catch a gold uh, blue carper, so there was at least that. All right, I'm gonna try, I guess we'll scurry off to that little pond, see what's up there. Do some exploring today, instead of just fishing the same locations over and over again. Now, that road pretty much goes right to it. The models are smaller than the Spain carp. Yeah, I wonder, like I thought that too with, um, what did I catch? I got something that's on Spain as well, and I was like, man, I, I swear they're bigger on the other map. I'm wondering, and again, this is not the release build of the game. They they put this build together for creators like to be able to have early access, so it's possible they will be correct in the release build anyway. Blue car, yeah. There, I don't think there's like one with orange flames. There's a white one with pink flames. There's this one with blue flames. They said, no, Flantro, you don't get your own car. You haven't played this game enough. And I said, well, fine, I didn't want my own anyway. 
It's a real conversation. That's how it went. Don't fish that have legendaries get bigger? Bigger than what? If I caught a 30 pound fish in real life, I caught a diamond? Same. Hey, ZBG. Flinder stream will have work? Or even extending the stream beyond the normal time. You get, I don't know what that was. I wasn't looking. Something jumped. You can tell me there's not bass in this pond either. I think that's going to hit it. No? It looked to be a bass, and I guess we had spooked it, although we've been standing here for 30 seconds till it spooked. Don't understand these things. Does this game have missions like Call of the Wild? There's a bunch of missions in this game, yes. My dad got a 40 pound carp once, he released it, and I'm gonna catch it. If you do, you'll be able to tell him you caught a bigger carp than him, because surely it's heavier than now. Should only go up. Golden Ridge Pike Diamonds are smaller than Norway because Norway has the legendary? Well, I believe the idea is, like, in Norway, pike just get bigger than, say, in the Rocky Mountains. Due to water temperature, available prey, size of bodies of water, all that. Hey, Survivor. Uh, well, we did about two hours of grizzly bear hunting, killed 40 or 50 bears. I don't I didn't count, but shot a whole bunch of them, got a whole bunch into the daylight zones, got to fish in here. We caught our first gold of the day. It was like a four and a half pound blue kerper, which was nice. I'm trying to catch spotted bass, and they simply just hate me. So, I guess I'm going to go back to bottom fishing in this body of water and see what we can get. I don't, like, know for sure that there's bass in here. I just kind of assume there are. Where's the... There's a... Oh, it's right in front of us. We might be able to cast into that deepest part of the of the water. Really close. Oh, too far. Can I have my fishing rod back? There we go. It's still only 16 feet deep, but I guess in theory. And we still didn't quite get to the deep part, but... In theory, this is the best place. Have you already played Call of Wild on the stream? Yes. Uh, spent two hours grizzly bear hunting. What does Flantro stand for, or how did you come up with it? I actually, I myself didn't come up with it. It was a, it was just a joke my friend was making. So, like, you're perhaps aware of this. My name gets auto-corrected all the time. Whether it's Klinger, Glitter, Glinted, um stuff like that and one of my buddies was just making a joke and just said like hey flantro like just to add on to the different ways that my name's spelled incorrectly and for no good reason that stuck how do the tiger fish work more top water or bottom fishing faster action versus sit and wait the all every tiger fish i've caught has been on a lure the diamond i caught was on a popper Got a fair few on spoons and stuff, but the top water has worked really well. You should be in the right area, Ahmed. Um, perhaps you could give Chila a try. There's a lot of blacktail in Chila and uh, the southern lakes in Norden too. So what's in here? I realized that was a big hook for carp, so that could have been part of the issue. But we're not catching bass. Catching carp. Are there carpers in here? Oh, what do I have on this? Okay, that's correct. No. Ever thought about shadow dog driving? What do you mean? Oh, like for deer? She's good at chasing turkeys. She's accidentally chased turkeys right to me twice, but not while hunting, because I don't take her hunting. When in doubt, Bloodworm. We better catch something on this. I don't even know what it is, but it's probably like a size 7 hook or something like that. I 
I hear a fish jumping. Have you caught any tooth caddy fish? Not today, but in the last three days of streaming, we've caught quite a few. Biggest one I've landed is 35 pounds, just a silver. They're pretty neat though, I like them. It's the worst pond in the entire game. <laughs> I don't know why specifically this spot. Maybe we ought to try a smaller hook and bottom fish again. Oh, I don't even see a fish. I still don't see it. Well, there's something. Clearly not a very big something, but we wouldn't expect it to be. They forgot to stock this pond, it seemed that way. That is a decent blue, I think. Yeah, not that big. Just got a 1.62 pound gold bluegill. There you go. All right, let's try just once. If we put a size four uh, hook on there, we'll do red worm again. I don't. I guess maybe if I stand. Nah, I don't. I don't see how I'm gonna hit that deepest part of the lake. Just don't think with their current setup, we're quite getting there. Sounds good, ZBG. Appreciate you stopping in. Wish we had sharks. That would be kind of neat. You could do them. Somebody mentioned this. You could do almost like what they did on Norway. And have just like a little bay area or something you could fish in for sharks. If we don't get something relatively quick on whatever I put a size 4 hook, I'm just going to assume there's not much for carp in here. It's where I watch Flinter play these games more than I actually play them. Well, I suppose that's a good sign that they're at least enjoyable to watch. Did you see about the tackle main? Yeah, the hip drop tackle. I mentioned it quickly earlier. I saw a bunch of players tweeting their discontempt for it. I couldn't tell what kind of fish that was. It looked bass-like to me. Sup, Dip30. Saltwater's got to be a huge ask. I'd imagine, but it's also a, well, hugely asked for thing. Uh, there we are. Mmm, smaller carp? Could be a grass carp, maybe just a little common. Hard to tell on a size 4 hook. Sup, Rock Chalk? Nothing crazy. Uh, we got a gold blue carp earlier, which was nice. First one of those. What latent trophy cabin diamond should I go for? I already have boar, whitetail, and goose. Uh, let's think. What about elk or red deer? Little common. Not even little, little, but ten pounds. Right, I want to go somewhere with grass carp. I like them better. Uh, I think we were catching those over here. So let's instead do the main lake, just to do something different. Three and a half hour hunt, 40 kills, best three bucks, 154, 151, and 129. We're yon settlers. <laughs> That's what my settlers hunts look like. Hey, Mr. Biffin. Um, we got a little time yet. Probably gonna spend maybe 20 or 30 more minutes uh, here in the angler, and then we'll wrap it up for the day, but I want to try to catch... Uh, at least a couple of grass carp. So our daily challenges, we have... What do I need? Daily. We need nine grass carp. I don't know if we're going to do that. And then two more silvers to wrap up the dailies. If the grass carp really cooperate, we might get nine. RFF think I had eight or nine sub-70s? Oh, God. I did a video on Whiteheart today. I think I killed one sub-70. And I was... A little bit, not annoyed with that, but you know. That one came out and it broke a little streak I had of a couple of decent bucks. Yeah, at least, I guess, like, I don't know. I think I'd want the replicas because then I can do, like, poses and stuff of them, but I'd be more than happy with the aquarium idea, too. So, for, well, since we need, like, a bunch of grass carp, let's stick with the size 4 hook and see what happens. 
Didn't know there's multiple perspectives for the boat now. Indeed, they have that for the, the jeeps and the boat. So, less motion sickness, I guess, when you're driving. How's the content creator rule work in your Discord? If you're asking to be able to get the content creator rule, um, just message like... I guess you could just put in general or you can tag me and... Ask like, hey, can you review my channel for the content creator rule? So basically, like... Myself and the mods will take a look and see, you know, all we're looking for is consistent uploads and not like, you know, if, you're, if your thumbnail is please subscribe, there's a good chance that one's not going to make it. But if it's actual, you know, like, good representative content, then that's what we're looking for. They should add a trophy pond where you catch the fish you want to show off again. Be interesting to have a pond full of diamonds. What's your best old man dad joke? Uh, what do you mean about the old man part? Let me just make a consistent stream schedule or just stream then? That's a good way to start. I don't understand these fish's hatred right now. At this point, I'm going to go back to that place where we catch all the yellowfish, because at least we catch fish. Oh, like, say a dad joke in the old man voice? Here, I'll get the dad joke book, because we might as well. We're just sitting here, and I'll find one and read it in the old man voice. This one's about animals. Let me find a fish one. I don't know how to do an old man and make this funny. Oh my god. That's not appropriate. <laughs> it's not supposed to be, but it would definitely be taken a different way. What do you call a cow that fell in a hole? A holy cow! <laughs> I crack myself up. Bro has a book of dad jokes. You gotta tune into the uh, the Twitch streams. We uh, we have a thing where you can redeem channel points just for that. I'm going for yellowfish now. I got bored. Time to take your meds. I don't wanna. Let me eat my plum pudding in peace. Sounded like you were 125? I am. <laughs> oh god, Danny. <laughs> I'm not gonna go all the way down there. We'll start here. If these don't bite, I'm gonna assume something's just wrong. Because I never struggle to catch these. I don't know how you do that voice out of a hundred voice cracks. Well, I guess like you gotta find that like part of your voice box that doesn't. If I tried to stress it too much, that would definitely happen. Uh oh. Let's go right over to the waterfall. You should change your channel name to Flantro's Elderly Gaming Channel. The older I get, the more accurate it is. Got my second Great One Bear on Friday, and it was my second spotted that both scored 26.1. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> School, you got two, but crazy they ended up being the same fur, same score. I don't even know what I'm doing for April Fool's, Sandy. I gotta come up with something here soon, because it's the end of the week, isn't it? And I haven't even come up with a, like, I've had a few ideas. I thought of doing, like, a whole video with the old man voice. But is that April Fool's or is that just me screwing around? Like, I want to, I'm never going to hit the level that we did with the quitting Call of the Wild video. Because 
every like it, everything just worked out. Like the timing, there was the whole there was a big debate about her management. It just it was a good time to do that as an April Fool's video. And it makes me feel like I need to actually like try to fool people, and not just do like a screw around thing. But I don't know. I see a fish. Always not lost. That terrified me last year. I thought about at the very end of the video, like, saying April Fools, but I kind of thought it'd be better to just let people figure it out naturally. That was the year before CT. She was working, thought my game was just bugged. There are some in Balmont, but I think maybe when they did their Reventuli redistribution, a lot of the Blacktail got moved sort of northeast. That's another one. Quitting Call the Wild video got me bad. I spent a lot of time planning that out. I don't know when I initially thought up the idea, but like... I had to install a virtual machine, like, to even be able to record the game. It was, it was a whole process to even make that video. That canary looks okay. And in case you're like, why are you talking about birds? Uh, that's a canary curper that just swam underneath us. And I'm going to try to catch it. Because I, for some reason, think the curpers are kind of cool. They're like sunfish, but bigger, and I like them. Even though the canaries are smaller. Alright, that's close to our PB. It's gotta be within, like, a tenth of a pound. We haven't caught one... I don't even think ten and a half. So water's flowing that way. Just gonna. Oh. Do you know if you use the correct rod, the game actually lets you use what you're trying to use? So my thought is, just sort of let it sit. Nope, oh, too much. Bring it all the way, and then let it. That was a decent fish. There's a fish. Another yellow fish, I think. There he is. They're aggressive little buggers. Not bad. I think they only get to like two pounds. Hey! forgot about that. <laughs> it's a little, a little intense here on Africa when you level up. <laughs> Still think you film an IRL fishing bit with the angler hood? Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm not quite sure how I would... I guess you could just, like, have the video, video running and then try to play the same way the video is. Because, like, the, you know, the line distance and everything has to, to some degree, match up to make sense. That one looks kind of chunky. I don't know. It's so hard to tell because when you're above them like this in a boat, they all look bigger to me. Refraction or something? That's not a thing in this game. But... Solid. What was she barking at? What mythical, Mr. Biffin? Nothing special. No albinos yet, but we're just getting started. The good news is, you know, as we go along, as we kill more grizzlies, more and more drink in the daytime, and we can do hunts like that, you know, kill 20 and see if any albinos show up the next time. Oh, I don't think me doing a British accent would end up being a very good video. I can't, like, I can say, like, phrases in a British accent, but I can't do, like, long form impression. Just w wouldn't be good. Is that a tiger? It is. Not a very big one, but... We do take those. We do take those. There it is. Shmool. I saw another canary there, but let's keep rolling with this for now. Need a bull- oh, uh. See, even that wasn't good. Channel swap with Kyla. Uh, well, I just need to catch diamonds in the anchor. I'll be good to go. 
should do an April Fool's video where we kill a bunch of level 1 animals in does? I have thought about, but like, I, I don't know how well I'd be able to act for this. I've thought about doing like, shooting a level 1 and acting like it's big. But I, I don't know if that actually ends up being funny or not. Probably not. How am I always at least an hour late for all your streams? You're just fashionably late, that's all. Is the new map your favorite? We'll see, like, you know, down the road if it stays my favorite, but at the moment it's my favorite. I, I really like this map. What kind of fish is that? That's a Kerper there. Might give that a try since this is an absolute baby yellowfish. Two and a half pounds. It's funny because a uh, two and a half pound fish in real life is still like a decent sized fish. It might be too far. Yeah, is that st the Sunday thing still on there? Huh? I keep forgetting that it's there. Because we used to just say, hey, also Sundays, like even though it wasn't on the schedule. At some point we changed it and then never undid it. Might have casted too far to catch that one that we saw. We'll let it drift a minute and then bring it in. About halfway. How do you cast so far? Uh, I don't think I'm doing anything special. The, no, like, not that you can only cast 40 feet with the starter equipment, but starter equipment or, like, you know, ba basically better equipment can cast farther and stuff. I think, like, the gear ratio and such makes a difference. Change it for Twitch. Oh, that makes sense. It's a lovely bobber simulator. What hook size do you need to catch a diamond bass? I mean, if you specifically want to target diamond bass, I'm sure it's a fairly big size, but I caught mine on like a size four. Kerper said, no thanks. Well, there's only one thing to do at a time like this. And it's to go off the waterfall, if I can get between these rocks again. I've done it once. But it's, it's a little easier said than done. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Even if I get off this, <laughs> I don't see it going well. So can I push this off the rock now? Get over this rock. As well, I could. I did this without pushing the first time. By the way, how did I do this? I went off this waterfall. I think maybe that wasn't here. I thought it was. Anyway, uh, is that pronounced like cow? I'm not sure. Thank you for subscribing, though. An airboat apparently went off a waterfall again. I, I go off a lot of waterfalls apparently. Maybe this wasn't the one that I did that with. I thought it was. I've returned to see you've cast aside bear hunting to some rocky results. We sure have. This stream is hit rock bottom. What's going on, Pixel? Does do oh, so I think you asked me this yesterday. And I went to read it, and I can't remember what happened, but I didn't answer it. Does doe taste better than a buck? I live in California, and you can't hunt does. I, I wouldn't say it's anything to do with buck versus doe. Um, it's more about the individual deer's diet. So, you know, if you live in a place where all the deer, like for instance, say like mule deer that live in like sagebrush country, they're going to taste pretty sagey compared to mule deer that are more in ag land. They're going to be almost like beef-like in a way. Some bait. Oh, it was a lure, actually. 
A popper, nice. I could have just fast traveled, but I wanted to put on some... Well, now I can only cast 40 feet. What was up with that? It's a little better, but I still didn't go very far. Feed my dear yingling. <laughs> Cut my first largemouth. 5.61 powder, not bad. What's that? Might be like a decent-ish tiger. I can't see it. Could be a largemouth yellowfish too. Uh, I think it's a tiger. No, maybe it is yellowfish. I can't tell. It's getting too dark. Come here. I shouldn't have fished from the dock. Hey, we didn't catch one of these all day yesterday. Oh, um, never did talk about your opinion on the drone deer recovery. I. I probably missed it, but did you, like, did you give the synopsis of the situation? Now the chat's a little bit slower, I might be able to catch it. I, I missed what, like, thing I'm giving an opinion on. Because, like, there's that drone deer recovery channel. Is that the thing that it's about or no? Backyard deer haven't been around for a while, something must be spooking them. This time of year, they tend to just go into completely different places. What's up, Dresden? Those story slash cash missions really threw me off on Norway haven't touched the game since. Fair. Largemouth yellowfish is a very rare find nowadays in South Africa. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Bear showed up this morning. It's about this time of year, huh? They start to wake up and mosey around some some people's yards. Whether people should use it or not? Okay. Because I'm pretty sure there was a specific thing about people using drones here in PA that happened. So, I don't mind people... Actually, I even think using drones to recover a dead deer is probably generally a good thing. I can see the argument of like, if you can't make a good enough shot to find it, then you shouldn't be out in the woods. Like, hey, fair enough, I guess. But rather than having the resource go to waste, at least if you're using the drone to find them, you know, at least you either recover the animal instead of just like killing it and never, you know, rotting in a ditch essentially, right? Or you get to use the meat, all that side of it. My biggest concern is that inevitably, Inevitably, people are going to use it to locate live deer to hunt. That's a problem. Like, that is so far beyond, like, ethical, sporting, you know, proper ways of hunting, I guess. Because it's been, I remember, I saw a video, I think it was an albino fallow deer. A guy was flying a drone around it, and he could get within a couple of feet of it till it reacted. Like, it didn't care, because to a, to a deer, it's a bird or whatever. So, like, that, using them for scouting and stuff, like, I don't think that's good. I think that's, that's a little too far. So then, that begs the question. Can you make that distinction? Or should you just say you're not allowed to use a drone in any hunting uh, application? You're 300? What you mean? Kind of takes the point out of hunting? Yeah, like... It's it's beyond fair chase, is, is the thing. You know? Like, I think you can make the argument for trail cams and stuff. Because trail cams, in a sense... Like, if... If you could go back... To the, you know... Thousands of years ago, ancestor days, when... People didn't have to, like work jobs for like there were hunters whose only goal was to get meat maybe you would you know sit behind some trees for potentially days on end if you had literally nothing to do and watch what animals were walking through and when the trail cam just sort of does that for you but being able to literally levitate around the woods and see potentially miles of country 
completely silently and without leaving any scent or any evidence that you were there to the deer, that's not. That's not good. But to even get one's 13 grand and to spend that is just stupid and people can do herd analysis with them. Herd analysis and stuff is good. Like if it's used for research and all that kind of thing. I'm just saying like if it's used to locate deer specifically to go hunt them. I, I think that causes problems. And that and regulating that's tough. It's like the cell cam thing. I think in Arizona cell cams were banned. I get why. But it's really hard to regulate. You know, is there is somebody using a cell cam here? Why buy a $13,000 drone when you can buy a Call of the Wild DLC? Exactly. That's what I always say. 4 to 8 a.m. Hailstorm. Same as Black Bear. Brown Bear also have this new zone time. Nice pixel. I don't know if I ever got any good Fisher trail cam footage. The first day of archery, not this past year, but in 22, I had a Fisher walk right under my stand. I I've, I've felt so dumb for not catching up film. Like, I was sitting there, and I literally, like, I could hear in the leaves, like, ch -ch 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 -ch, and it sounded like shadow, like, moving through the woods. I was like, huh, wonder what that is. And then two seconds later, here comes a fisher. I'm like, and it got past me so quick. I just thought, why didn't I get my camera ready? Am I that dumb? Like, I knew it was going to be a fox or a fisher or something cool. And I just sat there, knowing that something neat was coming. Just dumb. Saw a good-sized roe deer at my local dump while I was out with my dogs. Good gold, nice. And when you're saying good gold, you mean that literally, right? Because I, I know that um, system is actually used a good bit for, like, red deer, roe deer. Valid deer, I think. Sometimes you just have to take in the moment. True. Do you plan on turkey hunting this season? Absolutely. We're going to Kentucky here in just a couple of weeks, uh, doing a little weekend turkey hunt there. And then our season comes in, I think, May 4th this year is late. I'm going to try to get out as much as I can here in PA, too. Drone's coming to call the wild confirmed. Hey, Otter. Two birds with one stone. There you go. Two ratings with one metal. I don't know. I need to look something up with these. Because I don't understand why we... It seems so specific... Like, sometimes we catch nothing but smallmouth, sometimes nothing but largemouth. Hard fighter last stand. Hard fighter jumper. They're going to hit the same lures because we catch them on the same things. I just don't know why. Like, it seems like half the time we catch one, half the time the other. They actually use badges in Europe? They're, like... I think that's why Call of the Wild did that system. There is, like, an actual rating system in Europe for deer. Like, and it is bronze, silver, gold. I don't think diamond is a, is a rating, though. This seems like I shot a 20-inch wide deer, only an 8, so it wasn't as good as yours, but super wide. Hey, I mean, <laughs> it's way better than the one I got this past year, because I didn't kill a buck this past year. I like, like, a nice, clean, big 8, too. How do you do these streams? Do you have two monitors active or a phone at the side? Yeah, I have a, I have like the main monitor, which has the game, like obviously you guys are seeing, then a side monitor for the chat. More than deer and it's the metal system? I don't think I knew that like non-antlered animals, I'm assuming would you say more than deer? Is it literally just everything? What's your turkey gun? I have an H&R turkey partner 10 gauge. 10 gauge for turkeys? Holy, you're <laughs> you're really going to smoke them if you get them. I have never used a 10 gauge. Um, I have I have a TriStar, just a like a base model 12 gauge pump. I don't even know the exact like name of the model. What's up, Andy? Dad has an Iowa shed of a huge six. I don't know if he'll stay at six point, but we have one that was like a real tall brow six that I think was maybe three and a half to where you'd expect him to be more than a six point if he was going to become that. So if he stays as a big six as a six as a four, we've had a couple over the years that were like real nice six points, but I never had a chance to 
you know, actually hunt them really. I was pretty young when those were showing up. Decent fish again. 10 gauge would kill my shoulder. I know three and a half inch uh, turkey loads for a 12 gauge is enough for me. <laughs> I don't know if with the 10 gauge, if you'd use maybe just three inch. Three, maybe don't even make them. A three and a half inch turkey load in a 10 gauge. I don't, it might actually cause like bodily harm to me anyway. TSS load number nines would be 1060 pellets. I, I need to look into maybe using them. I haven't used tungsten shot yet. 20 gauge with TSS. Seems like this is about as good as we can do, right around 22 pounds. Wait, why CT? Would you say the new map on the Angler has revived your interest to make more content for the game? At least on this map generally. I also want to go and try to catch Sidewinder with, uh, with a bottom fishing rig eventually. We'll see, like, you know, does the hype for this map last for me or not? I think it will. But, you know, only time will tell. It's, it's the same reason, like, you know, when a new map comes out in The Hunter Call of the Wild, people ask me, like, you know, is this your new favorite map? And I, I like to just be like, give me, like, a couple weeks, and I'll let you know once the newness of it wears off. So, yeah, I guess I just want to I want to have that caveat to see if, you know, once the newness wears off, if I'm still, like, super into it. But I think I'm going to be. Know a guy who killed a turkey at 75 yards with a 410? That's insane. I killed one at, like, 65, but it was with just typical 3.5-inch turkey load. Um, a 410 at 75 is craziness. I shot a squirrel one time with a regular 410 at about 40 yards. And I remember just like, my, I don't know, I was probably 11. And my dad said, go for it. But I remember the shock. Like, he didn't think, he probably didn't even think I was going to hit it. But he also probably didn't think it was lethal at that range. Sure enough, knocked it right down. That might be one of our better tiger fish. Or no, is that a, that's a largemouth too. They look very, they got a very similar dorsal fin. I had that. Come on, there it is. Thought that was at least a little better. Hey, launch fly. Yeah, we're, uh, here, let me look at the challenges, because I don't know if we're going to get them all done. Oop, there we go. Gonna probably try, we never even did catch a grass carp. Gonna probably try to get to maybe the 35 bronzes, so maybe about 10 more fish. Then we'll wrap up. Idea for a video, fishing and hunting video on Verhunga and this map. Yeah, I've been thinking about maybe doing that. I did the Rocky Mountain one, Silver Ridge Peaks and Golden Ridge Reserve. Caught a couple of decent fish in that one, but the big thing was we killed a nice gold albino mule deer, which was pretty neat. Now comes the question, is it worth the money? What even, what do the angler DLC maps cost? Because I don't remember. Was it 10 bucks? Something like that? It's more than the, the Hunter ones, for sure. Do you play golf? Not really. I'm not, not very good at it. My sister and her husband got big into golf like a couple years ago. I think she's since sold her clubs. I think they, you know, they got into it for a couple months. We're like, eh, actually, not their forever fun thing to do. But when she was really into it, they brought their set of clubs up and we were smacking some golf balls in the yard. I had like two good drives. One that I really nailed that I think would have carried for a couple hundred yards anyway, but I hit the trees at the back of the yard, so it stopped. I was proud of that one. That's like my best, closest golfing experience. I've never even been on a true golf course, just mini golf. Do you have a garden? Yes. Uh, the plan is to do more this year with it than we did last year. Last year it was like exclusively a pumpkin garden, to be fair. I'm assuming when you say garden, you meant more vegetable garden, but that's what I want to do with it this year, but we got to get that going soon. Do you know anything about the next Whale Hunter map? I haven't heard a single thing. Unless that's a smallmouth, which I don't think it is. That's going to be about the smallest one we've caught so far. Yeah, it's a large mouth too. Hey, sweetness. 
Isn't that always the plan? Well, I guess, but considering we literally only grew pumpkins last year, just as sort of a thing Kylo wanted to do, but this year I want to... For one, I want to run uh, a water line over to the shed, because it's way closer to where the garden is, so instead of carrying... I guess if we were to add some additional things, instead of carrying like four to six watering cans over per day, we could just use a hose from the water line. Like, I want to... Not... It doesn't have to be subsistence living, but, you know, have some actual produce from it this year. Is produce a good enough word? Any plans of doing planting tomatoes and potatoes with Flantro? Not at the current moment, anyway. Do you plan on doing a turkey hunting with this year? I want to do several. What I want to do is like how I used to do it. Like, bring you guys along, like, the weekly thing. But it's, it's just tough, like, if the turkeys don't cooperate, like, if I don't get any footage, like, I don't really have a video, so... Just depends on what kind of footage I can get. I'm hoping eventually we just hook into a big one. You'd think that would happen. In your opinion, what should the next Wave Hunter map be? Hmm. What should it be? So they've done New Zealand, Alaska, Transylvania, Africa, Midwestern US. I still think a snow map of some kind would be good. I mean, I want that Greenland map that I've talked about forever in Call of the Wild. I think they could do something like that in Way the Hunter. I think they could do... Honestly, I wouldn't even hate like a North American map, but set in winter. Think making a Texas map would be amazing? If they... So here's the thing that I think is a struggle for really any of the, you know, hunting game developers if they made a Texas map. To me, like Texas Whitetail are... They gotta be on there. Texas Whitetail are such a... Uh, like unique... They're not a subspecies, but they might as well be. But Texas Whitetail don't look like Whitetail from anywhere else. Like, they have very unique antlers. And to me, they have to redo Whitetail antlers for that map. Otherwise, it doesn't feel authentic at all. Just want a snow, snow map and doll sheep in any hunting game? They have it in Classic. Just saying. What do we have? 30... No, bronze, 29. How's that work? Can we catch a couple juveniles? I don't even remember. They look like Florida Whitetail? So I don't know for sure. Um, I know Whitetail in the 50s got like reintroduced to Georgia because they basically had none. That was in southern Georgia. The northern Georgia, they have like the eastern Whitetail. Southern Georgia Whitetail or Texas Whitetail. They came from Texas. I don't know if any or all those have, like, moved further southeast towards Florida and maybe influenced some of that. That one looks okay. Eh, not special. Anything good on Classic lately? Uh, I got a pretty, pretty fun little video coming tomorrow with some decent kills. Five more bronze plus. If we can luck into a big mail, that would be great. Large dogs? Oh, Florida Whitetail are the size of dogs? Large dogs? <laughs> Most southern deer are body size way smaller than northern deer, so they don't need the body fat and all that. Stone sheep need to be in the game? I think stone sheep are very cool. I don't know why I've always thought stone sheep were awesome, but I do want them in one of these games. Totally agree. A small mouth. Now watch, we're going to catch nothing but smallies for no good reason. As a dumb Western Canadian, what is the difference between a Texas whitetail and other Eastern whitetail? I I'm not going to be able to give you the scientific difference, but, like, generally Eastern whitetail have more, like, mass in the antlers, usually much bigger bodies, 
Although it depends on where you're at in Texas, I think. I think there's like a substrain of Texas whitetail that are bigger bodied. Um, but then Texas whitetail have typically like really wide set, more spindly antlers than Eastern whitetail. A lot of times low wide set racks is a, is a kind of distinct Texas whitetail characteristic. If you've seen them, you get to where like, what, you know, you go to Cabela's and you walk through and you see all these whitetail and then you see one that's from Texas and you don't even have to go and read the plaque to see where it's from, you just know. They're very distinct. They're darker? I was going to say they were darker, but I didn't want to say that 100% accurate, or I didn't want to say that without knowing that I was 100% accurate. I think that is the case, though. Not quite a fun fact, but in Serbia, where I live, we call whitetails Virginian deer, because the small herd was introduced into a hunting reserve in northern, can't pronounce that, during the 80s. Do you call them that because, because like the Latin name is for whitetail is uh, Servus Virginius or whatever? I don't know if Virginius is the way to pronounce that, but is that the like the reason for that? I'm feeling I'm feeling optimistic, Brady. We'll see what they do in the draft. It is always fun. Like I always because Kyla's birthday is April 26th. Like it's right. The draft is always in that window, so we're always in Georgia for that. And usually I, you know, get to, you know, I'm just hanging out with, with the family and everybody. So usually me and Kyla's stepdad, we sit there and watch the draft and stuff. So I get to see more of it these last couple years than I had in the past. Because usually I would just, you know, I'll put it up on the side and play Call the Wild or whatever, right? So anyway, I'm excited to kind of just get to watch the draft and, and see who gets picked. But if they can improve, I would say, like, they're, they need a center and improve their interior D-line, plus pick up a decent wide receiver, I think they can make some noise. Thoughts on Russell Wilson being traded? I think it makes for a really interesting situation this year. Is that number 35? That was. Well, now we'll just catch 40 fish, because now I'm going to talk about the Steelers for a minute. Um, he's in a position where he maybe can revive his potential Hall of Fame career. He was, like, on a lot of lists. A lot of people considered him a Hall of Famer before he even went to Denver. Since he's gone to Denver, a lot of people now think, like, oh, maybe he's not going to make it. Like, maybe he's undone his Hall of Fame career. The Steelers are, like, uh, identity-wise, very similar to the Seahawks teams that he, you know, went to two Super Bowls and won one with. So, I think he probably sees it as that and I imagine he's going to take it very seriously to try to you know get back on that path and then they have Justin Fields as maybe like either the future if if Russ doesn't work out or worst case you know you you get him on the field some you get some tape he, he was a six round pick investment they can just essentially like I know this is going to sound well maybe I'll just I was going to say make a profit on him but you know what I mean? Like, they, they could actually upgrade the asset that they made by just trading for him to begin with. If, if somebody needs a quarterback and they need to trade to another team, the Steelers have basically the best backup in the league right now. Where's my Call of the Wild stream? You said you came here for a fishing stream. What is this? That's a hard mouth. What do we need? Two more? Why didn't it come up that time? Need three more. Oh, now it came up. And now it says two more, so maybe I was right. As an Eagles fan, I don't like the Steelers, but I want you guys to do good. I generally root for the Eagles because my sister's husband. I still have not gotten used to saying brother-in-law. Somebody said, like, why don't you just say brother-in-law? I try to remember. Anyway, he's an Eagles fan, so I generally root for them because, you know want them to do decent curious to see if Kenny Pickett becomes anything in Philly or if he's just kind of there to be a backup and I don't know career backup I don't know now we don't catch any fish can you throw a football I'm not like a great accurate thrower of a like I can throw a football fine but when I like growing up I was always like 
faster than most kids my age and that kind of thing. So when we would play pickup games and all that, or when I played in grade school, running back, wide receiver, I did all that kind of stuff. So I never, like, honed my throwing skills. I'm not a very accurate thrower of anything, really. I could throw a baseball pretty accurate because I played baseball a lot. Think Pickett will end up like Gardner Minshew? I could see it. Maybe get an opportunity down the line with an impressive backup showing, especially with a team that has a lot of weapons? That makes sense. Looking ten times better than my Jags? I think the Jags are in okay shape. They were they were good last year until they had some injuries. Alright, one decent fish to, to end this, it looks like. I actually have, Chris. I know it's a very specific question. Have you ever gotten a squirrel with a bow? In, uh, boy, 2017 or 2018? It's funny because a few days before this, I missed a buck with a bow. It, it was such a frustrating experience, but I ended up just, you know, pulling the shot or whatever happened. And I'm walking to my stand in the rain. And first of all, I actually saw the backs of three deer. I come up over the hill and I can see three deer, and I just hit the deck immediately. You know, because of the rain, they don't, they can't hear me. And I guess, you know, they were just feeding, so they weren't looking. So I I stalked in. I'm like, I'm going to get one of these. There's got to be a doe and two fawns or maybe a buck or who knows. And I come up over the hill, three fawns. So I don't shoot them. They run off. And then I look. And like 10 yards away, there's a squirrel. And I was like, well, I have a small game head. So I knocked it. Drew back. Shot it insta-kill like just perfect shot and I, I sent it to my brother and I, I brought the squirrel into the stand with me and gutted it and skinned it so I could bring the meat home and like I sat there and, thinking about it and I think my brother texted at first and he said you realize you missed like a 200 pound animal but you just killed a two pound animal with your bow and I said yeah that kind of sucks doesn't it <laughs> all right that should be our weekly challenges done Sure is good deal. Halfway to level 52 already. And yeah, the map officially comes out tomorrow. So we'll see if we get to keep our progress here. You know, our whole one diamond and two gold medals. But it was a pretty cool diamond. So I'm hoping we do get to keep it. Mr. Biffin's heading to bed. Sounds good. Time zone's being ruthless. We are wrapping up the stream as is anyway. So uh, yeah, appreciate you guys coming along. Looking forward to seeing what you're catching out here in the Angler tomorrow. If you're in the Discord, be sure to post pics of trophy fish you catch uh, in the Angler chat. Be looking forward to that. And yeah, well, I'll say once again, Kyla is going to be streaming this over on her channel. I'm guessing tomorrow afternoon. I don't know exactly what time, but uh, kill a Kai on Twitch. Hey, Lucky, appreciate you stopping in. We are unfortunately wrapping up. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.